Bulls Thick Park in San Francisco, and the sun has been out all day. Weather had been a problem, at least that's what everybody thought, but not today, not in the parking lot where the festivities have been going on since early this morning and not on the playing field. Pat Summerall here with John Madden, and I guess one of the big questions once you cut through all the excitement, John, has to be the availability and the help of Emmett Smith. How do you think he is? Well, I, I think he's going to be available. We know that to start. You can see he's out there now. He has a muscle stimulator on that pulled hamstring right now. So he's getting treatment right now before the game. And I think when we were talking to him last night, he said he wants to play smart. He has to play control. He wants to play the whole game. And they need him because the, the Dallas offense is based on Emmett Smith, on his running and his pass catching. And if they get that going, they can play pass, and they can get the ball to Harper and Irvin and Novacek and all those things. Well, the 49ers beat the Cowboys here at Candlestick during the regular season, but to a man, the Cowboys feel they outplayed San Francisco that day. 49ers have made some changes in the way they'll approach it today. What are they, John? Well, you know, they, they got up to a bad start, didn't they, uh, offensively in the last game. In fact, in the first half, Steve Young only had plus one yard. So he figures that... That didn't work. They were doing a lot of seven-step drops. So in this game, they're going to come out and do more three- and five-step, get rid of the ball quickly, uh, get some running game going, get that thing, and not let that pass rush take over the game early. But I think on defense, they have a big surprise for the Dallas Cowboys, and that's Deion Sanders. Everyone thinks that Deion Sanders is going to be on Michael Irvin. Well, he's not. Deion Sanders is going to be on Alvin Harper. There is number 21. And the excitement and the get ready is just about over. It's time to get it on. Yep, at some point, you get to the point where you just say, shut up and deal. And I think we're at that point where you just shut up and deal. Pizzano telling the Dallas Cowboys what kickoff return they're going to run. They have won the toss, so they'll have the ball first in the hands of Troy Aikman. And they'll have what is the best end of the field. The field is soft, but today it's 65 degrees. Showers possible, but right now it doesn't look like it. It's rained every day in 1995 in the Bay Area. Not today. And a big part of that everyday rain was sitting right here at Candlestick. Yeah. But, you know, you get to a point like now, all that talk is over. I mean, the rain and what this guy said and what that guy said and who owns and a new coach and what, you know, happened last year, that's all over now. It's right now and what you do on this field from this point on. The winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl to take on the San Diego Chargers who upset Pittsburgh today 17-13. Kevin Williams and Brock Marion back deep for Dallas and Doug Bryan, the rookie, to kick off for San Francisco. The receivers are at the 10. Low kick. He didn't get it. Bounces to Kevin Williams. Williams gets it out to about the 34. And let's look at the Cowboy offense. Troy Aikman at the helm. 7-0 and in preseason. Never lost. Hot last week. This is the offensive line. They're beat up considerably. Two and A. Newton, Stepnowski, Kennard, and Allen. Allen, the big question mark. Emmett Smith, Daryl Johnston, Irvin Harper, and Novacek. And as John Madden said, Alvin Harper will be shadowed by number 21, Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders just went up and touched Alvin Harper on the shoulder. Said, "I got you." He'll know it. And Aikman back to throw. Protection good. Irvin short. Incomplete. And let's look at a revamp and much better San Francisco defense. Jackson, Stubblefield, Bryant Young, the rookie, and Dennis Brown in front of Ken Norton, Gary Plummer, and Lee Woodall. A strong secondary. Sanders, Hanks, McDonald, and Eric Davis, the other corner. Sanders again comes, again comes with Harper. Second and ten. 
Serve him in motion. He slipped on his first cut earlier. Outside to Jay Novacek, who fell down. They're going to see a lot of that before the day's over. And the other thing, I think it's going to take a while for the Cowboys to adjust to the fact that Deion Sanders is on Alvin Harper. Because if they're going to stay away from Dion, then that means that they're going to have to go to Michael Irvin with some kind of double coverage or to Johnston and Novacek. Harper goes left. This time, Sanders goes with him. Three wide receivers. Kevin Williams in the slot. That's to the right. Aikman back to throw it. In, intercepted by Eric Davis. And Davis will score for the 49ers. Intended for Kevin Williams. 44-yard touchdown run by Eric Davis. They thought he might be the weak link. That's the place they wanted to work on. And again, I think Deion Sanders on Harper has thrown him for a loop. They didn't expect that. They're going to throw away from Dion, And they looked and they threw that one right to Eric Davis. Eric Davis is a guy who gets worked on a lot. You see him. He's just playing zone because they're doubling away. They're zoning away from where Deion Sanders lines up. Eric Davis was in a zone. Troy Aikman didn't read it and threw it right to him. Wilms Myers, the holder, Brian the kicker, at 7 0 San Francisco. Touchdown, Eric Davis on a 44 yard touchdown. Troy Aikman's interception by Eric Davis. And San Francisco leads Dallas 7 0. 44 yards, Davis went for the touchdown. Brian set to kick it off. Kevin Williams and Brock Marion back deep. Williams at the six. To about the 30. Troy Wilson up to make the stop. Here's what Troy Aikman didn't read, Pat. Here's Eric Davis, and he's on Michael Irvin. It looks like man, but as he comes off, he'll ride him, and then Eric Davis is going to come off in his zone, and he's going to pick off this thing right here. Troy Aikman reads this right there's man. Now watch Eric Davis. He lets him go. Then he comes back to the inside and jumps in front of that out to Kevin Williams. Eric Davis, we saw him the other day and he was joking. He said, am I even too small to practice? They say I'm too small to do everything. How about let me get out on the practice field? Guy has a heck of a lot of pride. And that could be the biggest play of his career. And Alvin Harper is out. And Kevin Williams has replaced him. Irvin is split wide left. And the field has taken its toll already as Emmett Smith fell down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. And look at Ricky Jackson. You see how, how, how fired up Ricky Jackson is? And I'll guarantee you there's a reason for that. You know, when there's timeouts, then all these groundkeepers come out. You see, this is what they have to do during those timeouts is trying to get that field down. That's not going to stay that way very long. No, 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 that didn't help at all. He slipped before he ever got to the line of scrimmage. Second down, long yardage. Aikman, screen passes to Emmett Smith, and he is hit hard by Brian Young. Yeah, the first guy there was Ricky Jackson, and he made him cut back. Jackson said he's going to be all over Emmett Smith today. And, of course, Ricky Jackson has a reason to do that. Boy, Pat. does he ever. Ricky Jackson, if the 49ers win this game, Ricky Jackson, number 57, coming here, he gets an $838,000 bonus. You can again see him at foot slip as he tried to make a cut. Third and 17, three wide receivers. Aikman back. Pass is caught and dropped and left on the ground. San Francisco ball. You're right, that pass was caught and then it was fumbled. Michael Irvin made the catch, couldn't hang on. 
Now, yes, there's the ball is thrown a little behind him. He comes down. He has both feet there, and then the ball just got stripped by Eric Davis again. That's just as Michael Irvin is ready. I mean, just as Troy Aikman is ready to throw that ball, he gets hit right there. So he couldn't step and follow through. He was hit by Dana Stubblefield, so the ball was a little behind Michael Irvin. First and 10, San Francisco at the Dallas 39. Young, Rice incomplete. He was there. They had it. Here is the 49er offense led by Steve Young. Three and two in the postseason as a starter. His offensive line healthy again. Wallace, Sapolo, Bart Oates, the center, Derek Deese, and Harris Barton. Brent Jones, Taylor, Rice, Floyd, and Waters handle the ball. Waters is split out this time. Floyd. Outside to Rice. Rice. Take it down just shy of a first down. The clock's still running. That's the signal on the sideline. He's inbounds, so keep the clock running. What is what a start for the 49ers, yeah. huh? I mean that 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 first one, that interception is owned by Eric Davis, and then he comes back and makes the second play. He was the guy that stripped the ball from Michael Irvin. Right. You know, and in these big games, you never know who the heroes are gonna be. Sometimes they're the the big players you expect, and sometimes there's a guy like an Eric Davis. Who'll step up, and you expect it, as you say, from the big player, the name player. Here's Young, chased by Haley, gets away from Haley. Chased again, wins it upfield and out of bounds, incomplete. John Taylor, the intended target. Larry Brown, the coverage. See, Haley's in a two-point stance today. He said he's going to do some of that. Instead of putting that hand down, stand up so he can see this type of thing better. Haley misses here, but watch Robert Jones come in there and make the hit. That's what they're going to do. They're going to let Haley come down in and then try and get a linebacker outside of him for the bootlegs and stuff. Fourth and two, and the 49ers are going for it. They're letting it all hang out. They've had the frustration of losing two of these championship games. Waters was the lone setback. Now it's only Young. They get it outside to Ted Thompson, and he maybe or maybe not have gotten that first down. I'm sure they'll have to measure this. Hey, that's confidence in a, in a Steve Young note to, to not only go for it on fourth down, but then have a pass and then have that pass to your backup tight end, Ted Popson. Bring him out. Bring out the chains. This and would that, be a psychological lift for either team. Well, that's Ted Popson's job. I mean, he, he, he knows that it's fourth down. He has to run the pattern to get the first down. Well, he did by a half a football. Well, let's look at the Dallas defense. The four in front are Haley, Lett, Maryland, and Tolbert. The three linebackers, Smith, Jones in the middle, and Dixon Edwards. And their secondary, Brown and Kevin Smith, the cornerbacks, Washington and Woodson, the two safeties. First and 10, San Francisco at the Dallas 30. Here's Young, pump fake. Outside the waters, waters inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds at about the one. Now they say touchdown, he was in. Ricky Waters. From 29 yards out. On a pass from Steve Young, and the 49ers are hot. I mean, did he have time? I think Ricky Waters was about Steve Young's third wide receiver. Because watch his pass protection. Last game, they didn't have it. Starts out with a play pass. He looks to the left. He pumps. He looks down in the middle. He pumps. He looks out here to the right. His third receiver, Ricky Waters, all the way out here on the right side. Now he does that high step, stays in bounds, and gets a touchdown. Although, I'm not sure that he did stay in bounds. I'm not sure that the ball was in bounds. They're kicking the extra point. And it's 14-0 San Francisco with 10.41 left in the first. 
Third quarter action, play action by Stan Humphreys. He finds a wide open Alfred Papunu. He takes it 43 yards to pay dirt. They trailed by three at that point, went on to win it. Right now, we take you back upstairs to Pat Summerall. So the winner of this game will play. I'm not sure who the injured Cowboy is. Dixon Edwards, I believe. 14-0, 49ers. Oh, John Madden at Candlestick Park. There's Dixon Edwards going off. Our information is a dislocated shoulder. There's probably where it happened. Yeah, right there, you see, he, he landed right on his right elbow. Godfrey Miles in his place. Young sneaking for the first down. And got close. Yeah, there's a guy who is, is totally changed, hasn't he? Really? Steve Young. I mean, you look at him, and he used to be so tense and so intense. And even in the beginning of this season, he was tense and intense. And then about the middle of the season, and maybe it was that Philadelphia game when George Seifert took him out and they got in that big shouting match or whatever it was, he found out that some sometime, you know, that, that, that he could say what was on his mind. Here's where it started. Remember, they play the Eagles, they take him out, and he comes out, and he stayed mad for about 15 minutes. Now that's Gary Kubiak he's talking to right there, who is the quarterback coach, Steve Young's coach. They'll measure for that first down to see if he got it. Even George, uh, George Seifert says, you know, he said maybe he just became one of the guys that, you know, when you well, yell at the coach, then all the guys like you, all the other guys like you, you become <laughs> one of the guys. Maybe that was the point that Steve Young became one of the guys. But whatever it is, he's a totally different guy now. Yeah, you can just tell his demeanor, the way he carries himself, the way he talks. First and 10 49ers at the Dallas 25. San Francisco leading 14-0. We were talking last night to James Washington. He said that Steve Young has a monkey on his back, and he said that monkey's number 16, Joe Montana, and he said, I'm going to remind it of it the whole game. I don't think he needs reminded about that. No. Young back to throw. The blitz is coming. They don't get him. Incomplete. A wide open was John Taylor. He was there. There was nobody close. Young was a little bit high, but that ball could have been caught. I know it. Every quarterback does that, too. You notice the, the time when they have something and it doesn't work, and they always go to their head. Watch John Taylor. That's a drop coverage. I mean, there's no one there. As you say, he's wide open. Steve Young throws the ball, and it just goes right between his hands. I mean, John Taylor is a tough guy. I mean, yeah. it's not a type of thing where he's hearing footsteps in there or anything. Steve Young saw it, put it up there. John Taylor has to catch that. That was another six. <laughs> to Taylor, right back. James Washington wraps him up. But a first down at the 10. James Washington better not mess with John Taylor. No. Because you talk about you know, tough wide receivers. There's not a lot of tough wide receivers in the world, but John Taylor is one of them. Like James Washington says, you know, that John Taylor will hit you as hard on a crackback as you hit him when he comes in in a slant. So that's what they're trying to do. Watch Washington here. He tries to get John Taylor here and really put a hit on him and then hold on and mess with him and all that stuff. But messing with John Taylor, it doesn't work anyway. First and goal at the 10. Young will throw it. Quarterback draw. Young to the one. That's the play they were practicing at Stanford University the other day on Friday. We're watching them, and what they think is going to happen is they're going to get pass rush here and here, and if Steve Young could come up here, let these guys really drop and read their patterns, and then just boom it up the middle. Now watch that. He wants those linebackers with the motion and stuff to run out. You see everyone run out? And look, when those linebackers run out and the pass rushers start up the field, you can drive a truck through that deal. Second and goal with the one. Floyd. Touchdown, San Francisco, and the 49ers lead it 20 to nothing. Wow, are they impressive. The 49ers wanted the crowd to get in this game, and the 49ers have 
given the crowd reason to be in this game. But, you know, it all started with turnovers. Yep. Two that Eric, da Eric Davis got for him. The third one was Adam Walker on a special teams play. Three Dallas Cowboy turnovers, three 49er touchdowns. Brian will try his third. Well, look at this. First time in NFC Championship history that a team has scored three touchdowns in the first quarter. In history. It may be the first time in history that a team has had three turnovers that quickly. It is 21 to nothing San Francisco with seven minutes and 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Vince. This has been a shocking sporting event so far. The good yet blimp Eagle is covering today's game. And they got a good seat on a good day. Above candlestick, Doug Bryan's going to be worn out for the fourth kickoff of the day for him. Kevin Williams. Best return so far to the 38, 37, maybe. It's a funny game here at Candlestick so far. 21 to nothing, 49ers. Novacek was the man in motion. That's him at Smith stop after perhaps a yard. Yeah, you get to the point that, you know, whether Emmett Smith is able to play, that hamstring is all right isn't going to be as important because you get to a point where the Cowboys are just going to have to start moving the ball and when you're down 21 to nothing you know that you're going to have to pass the ball more than you came into the game thinking you were going to have to pass the ball second and eight Smith got two yards Dallas ball at their own 40 turnovers have done them in so far Eric Davis has really come up big in this first quarter Here's Aikman back to throw. To Darrell Johnston to about the 47. Plummer and Norton converge. Cowboy turnover so far. The 49er results. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. An interception and a fumble and a fumble. Yeah, the interception was Eric Davis. The fumble was caused by an Eric Davis strip. And then the third fumble was an Adam Walker strip three tight ends this time with Ron Stone lined up on the right side Johnston and Smith Darrell Johnston gets the first Dallas first down of the day out near midfield Gary Plummer made the stop and yeah, one thing about getting down 21 to nothing you still have you have five minutes, 45 seconds in the first quarter. So yeah. you have a long time to go, and you don't have to start to panic yet. But I still think that one of the big moves the 49ers did is put Deion Sanders out there on Alvin Harper. And I don't think the – and I know the Cowboys didn't expect that it. That surprised them. And I don't think they've adjusted to that yet. I mean, do they go to work on Alvin with a single coverage? Do they go away from Michael, or what do they do? Kevin Williams has replaced Harper. This is Emmett Smith. Emmett down inside the 49er 45. Ken Norton and Tim McDonald was that last missile you saw go by. Because the thing that has really hurt the, the 49ers in big games has been Alvin Harper. Derek Kennard, something wrong with his helmet. I don't think it's an injury. Ron Stone has taken his place. And Derek Kennard is as big as you can get in that offensive line, but he's not big enough to play without a hat. Stone has taken his place. Michael Irvin comes to the right this time. Aikman has Smith behind him. Reverse coming. That'll be enough for another Dallas first down as Kevin Williams makes the carry stopped by McDonald. And they're still working there on, on big Derek Kennard's helmet. I imagine it's a big helmet too, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I mean they're always you hate to see that. I mean, with any any player because he really can't play. It looks like the it's a a, a face mask yeah. thing. Looks like it's not a, a thing with a helmet, but the face mask started to come off. 
I think there ought to be some backups or something. You just put some old big bucket in the guy's head and say, get back in there. We need this. Aikman back to throw it. Tripped up from behind by Dennis Brown, but a flag on the play. But Dennis Brown just kept working and working and working on that. And he just got Troy Aikman by the ankles. He's working against Larry Allen, who has a bad ankle himself. And he's having a tough time. Dick Hantack is the referee. There was a flag on the play. It's going to be, I believe, against the 49ers. Now, the field really starts to get treacherous down in this area. Holy defense. Number 51, five-yard penalty, first down. Number 51 is the old cowboy, the old Dallas cowboy, Ken Norton. And that play, just before that, Larry Allen has a real bad ankle. The rookie yeah. right tackle has done a heck of a job taking Eric Williams' place, but he just he just can't move his feet, one, in that mud, but two, because of that ankle. And right now, they're in a muddy spot, first and ten, after the penalty. Another flag on the play as Emmett Smith gets down inside the 49er, 25 to the 23, but a marker down against the Cowboys. You know, all the, all the talk about this game, it you know, really started last year. Remember after the Cowboys beat the 49ers, Eddie DeBartolo was embarrassed and said he wanted a new offense. defense. Number 22, moving prior to the snap. Five-yard penalty, repeat the down, first down. Yeah, this isn't a penalty, but we're talking about Larry Allen and the problem that he is having moving. Just watch him here. I mean, the ball is snapping. He just he just really can't move. I no. mean, I mean, it's a championship game. Everyone has to play, but sometimes guys really shouldn't be playing because they're just hurting everybody. Two tight ends. Emmett Smith hit in the backfield by Ken Norton. Doesn't even get underway. Well, we said in the beginning oh, of the broadcast oh. <laughs> that the 49ers added some muscle. There's part of it. Yeah, and that's what Eddie DeBartolo said. He told Carmen Policy, we need more defensive players. So the 49ers really went out and bought a defense and they bought a defense for this game and one of the guys that they bought was Ken Norton Jr. right there from the Dallas Cowboy. Yeah, he looked like his dad on that. I mean, he threw that straight right and he followed it up with a left hook then a jab and then an uppercut. And then he sparred a little bit. Yeah, then he started hitting himself. Aikman back. Pumps. Was hit just as he let it go and it's badly underthrown. Alvin Harper Again, being covered by Deion Sanders, don't forget, was out of the, totally out of the picture in that case. Yeah, you're going to see. Ricky Jackson, Watch Ricky Jackson. He's right here at number 57, going against Allen again. And he's the guy that hit Troy Aikman just as he threw that ball. Or it was about to hit him just as he threw that ball. Larry Allen just... Uh, just can't get it done. No, no, no. He can't move, and they ought to. And the 49ers ought to take advantage of that when they are taking advantage of it. But I even take more advantage. I'll just pass rush on that position with different guys. Every third and 18. Novacek. Maybe Allen moved ahead of time. When you're hurt like that, you want every advantage you can get if you can get it. And 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 you don't even think properly because all you can all you can think about is is where you're hurting. Ball start. Offense prior to the snap, number 73, five yard penalty, repeat the down, third down. And that's what it is. Now he's changing. You see, he's in a two point stance. He doesn't have his hand down. He knows he has to block Ricky Jackson. Number 57 is way out here. And so he was looking at him. Then he brought that right foot back and started to get out there too soon. Just can't get back to him. Third and 23. Darrell Johnston on the move. Ricky Jackson on the rush. Going deep. Michael Urban touchdown Dallas. They can double him, but they still can't cover him. Toy Cook 
And Eric Davis yep. both back there with him. Eric Davis was back there, like you said. Here's Mike Levin. The first thing they're doing is they're playing way too far off him. You see, they're so far off him that they feel comfortable with that cushion. They have him inside out. Eric Davis on the outside. Toy Cook on the inside. Mer Michael Irvin, the playmaker, runs right through, right between the double coverage. Bonio for the extra point. Nova checks the holder. 21-6, 2-14 still left in the first quarter. Sometimes you get too much confidence by having double coverage and too much confidence playing off. The extra point is good. It's 21-7. 2-14 left in the first quarter at Candlestick. Here's Eric Davis. Here's Toy Cook. They are going to double against Mike Lerman. But look how far off they are. And I think sometimes you get a false confidence in one, being that far off, and two, having a double. Michael Irvin gave him a little move and then split him, ran right between them. Watch Michael Irvin now. He knows once he split him and ran between them, all he has to do is catch that ball. Now that is what you call concentration. Waiting for it, looking it in over your shoulder. Plus a heck of a throw by Troy Aikman. And that's all you have to do, huh? I know, that's all you have to do. You know, and Aikman, Aikman threw that ball, and he was getting hit just as he threw it by, by Ricky, Ricky Jackson yeah. again. Who came around, uh, crippled Larry Allen. They just plugged in him at Look Smith. at that, yeah, that's that, that uh, muscle stimulator that uh, stimulates his torn hamstring. Bonio's kick is going to be handled by Dexter Carter, who's down on the wet turf. He slipped down, got up. And is hit down by Bill Bates. After a scuffle breaks out, the ball's loose. The Cowboys have it, but it's down. We got a rumble. We got left hooks, jabs. Did you hear that whistle? Yeah. The fist just kept blowing and blowing and blowing. I think I think I think right there was the longest whistle in NFC championship history. We got more points scored quickly and longest whistle so far. That's like Main Street or 42nd Street in New York. And you know this guy, Bill Bates, number 40, has to be in the middle of it. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, <laughs> but if you know if you know there's going to be some action, you know old, old, tough, old tough Billy Bates is going to be in it. He may not be dirty yet, but before the oh, day's over, oh, he's yeah. going to be dirty. Look at him. He's down there. He's throwing rights, laughs, hooks. <laughs> what the heck you got going? No, no wonder they had to blow that whistle so long. First and 10, San Francisco. They get to William Floyd, who moves the whole pile about two yards. That looked Ricky like Ricky Waters and Kevin Smith in a little rumble to the far side of the field. Yeah, Ricky Waters is one of those guys that's a highly emotional player that talks a lot and then he gets guys to react to it. They're taking him out. Yeah, you see, he's out there. He He's lining up as a wide receiver and he started to block Kevin Smith. That's what it was. I wasn't, wasn't talking. That was just a pretty good block. Ricky Waters lines up all over the place. Second and seven. Young. Incomplete. Cowboys are saying we got it, but there was no possession involved in that one. And you see Kevin Smith out there. He was guarding Jerry Rice and talking to him. A year ago, when they had that fight in the introductions, it was Kevin Smith and Jerry Rice. That's how it got started. Well, we have a heck of a lot of talking in this game. Watch Rice here. Watch Kevin Smith. That's the thing. If a guy's going to catch it, just try and hit him and knock the ball out. I don't know that you have to jump up and do all that other stuff, but the football play was a good play by Kevin Smith. Third down and seven. William Floyd is the lone back. Young back to throw. Pretty tough to rush the passer in this area. Steve Young gets it to Thompson. And he won't get the first down. I tell you one thing, there's a lot of gang tackling yep. on this thing. I mean, they look like, what do they call that in rugby? They call it a scrum, scrum or something? Yeah. yeah, where whole bunches of guys just get in piles and push each other and stuff. That's what we got here in a couple of these plays, some, some rugby scrums. Some good old scrum going on in the quagmire. That's what we got. That's good. That's good. Guys are flying all over. 
Watch this one. You're going to see William Floyd, number 40, coming in there. He's just taking shots. I mean, they're, they're just shooting at stuff and hitting air sometimes. They don't care. Wills Myers' punt is going to be handled by Kevin Williams at the 37-yard line. And he's coming out of the pack for a moment, up to the, about the 44, where the Cowboys will take over. Still 25 seconds left in the first quarter, 21 to 7. And I, I know one thing they're talking about on the 49ers sideline is, you know, sometimes you get up too quickly and you start to do your celebrate, and you can't celebrate because this Cowboy team are still the world champions. And they're not going to give up that throne without a fight, at a serious fight. Russell Maryland and Leon Lett talking about talking it up on defense. Deion Sanders facing Michael Urban now. Emmett Smith gets the carry, breaks one tackle, and gets a couple of yards, tough yards. Stopped by Brian Young. What a year he's had. 28 points in the first quarter by two teams ties an NFC championship game record. Like they got so many they're just going to let the clock roll down here and play the second quarter and let that one go. That is the end of the first quarter with the score the San Francisco 49ers 21 the Dallas Cowboys 7. San Francisco Candlestick Park. As you would expect, packed and crowded for the NFC Championship game between the 49ers and the Cowboys. 21-7 San Francisco leads as we start the second quarter. Dallas at their own 47. Aikman outside to Urban. That last lunge might have got him a first down. Eric Davis wrestling Irvin to the turf. Yeah, Eric Davis still on Michael Irvin, and then you still have Deion Sanders out there on Alvin Harper. I was wondering after Michael Irvin made that touchdown against Eric Davis if they were going to change that up and put Deion on Michael Irvin, but they didn't. And I think the Cowboys have finally figured out what they're doing and are starting on their attack of what they're doing. They've sort of started to settle down a bit now. Emmett Smith. Couple of yards stopped by Woodall and Norton. Yeah, if you look so far, Deion Sanders, he's only lined up once on Michael Irvin. That was a couple plays ago. They haven't thrown yet. He's lined up 13 times on Alvin Harper. And of course, they haven't caught any, but they haven't even thrown any where Deion Sanders is. Let's see what he does now. Harper is out. Kevin Williams goes wide. Yeah, and then when Kevin Williams comes in, they just put Dion on Kevin Williams. That's Williams in motion. They fake a reverse this time. And Aikman pumps. Now he's going to take off, and he's got a lot of room. And Aikman fell down when he would have had the first. He ran into Emmett Smith. Yeah, I think if Emmett Smith would have blocked someone or gotten out of his way, it would have been an easier play for him. But that was pretty good coverage. He had a play. He had a play that he was looking for and he couldn't find. He did get the first down. Uh, he gets the first down, but he was looking for something bigger than the first down. As you'll see here, he went the play fake, which was a reverse, and he's looking downfield and, and, and had good coverage. He was looking down in that area. That's what happened, and he didn't have it. That's what made him do what was on the bottom of the screen, pump it and run it, run it right into his own guy, but still get the first. Aikman back to throw on first. Wheels it outside to Irvin. Irvin covered by Sanders, and still Michael Irvin made the catch. He said, I didn't make this trip to turn around and go back. Yep, and he said all he has to do, he said, I don't care playing against Dion. I just have to get between Dion and the ball. And he uses his hands. You see him? He used them twice. He used a hand to get inside, then he used a hand to get back outside. Michael Irvin, one of the best at that. Pretty good pass protection. Aikman is looking to Irvin all the way. And Aikman says, he said, we respect Deion Sanders, but I'll tell you, we're not going to just stay away from him. Good throw by Aikman. Emmett Smith gets the carry. Smith bounces down to about the 16. Merton Hanks to make the stop. Well, you know, Emmett Smith on his first six carries, he had none yards. 
And then on these last couple, he's starting to pick up a few. Well, as they say, there's no need to hold back to anything now. No, and you know, and what a great momentum changer a big play is. I mean, the 49ers had everything going their way until Troy Aikman threw that up into double coverage to Michael Irvin. Which Irvin just split second and four at the San Francisco 16. Two tight ends. Johnston in motion. And it's Smith again. It's Smith first down Dallas. All very close to it. It's a first. You see how he got right in there between between Nate Newton and Mark Tuanay? That's a place if you want where you're going to get some movement, uh, you go to that side. Here's Newton. Here's Mark Tuanay. And you're going to get some kind of push. If you get in here and just kind of get behind that, you're going to find a soft spot and you're going to get some positive yardage. Watch him as a fire out. They have the lead block, you see, and then he just favors right at the end. He just favors Tuanay. But that combination of Newton, Tuane, and Daryl Johnston leading will get you a lot of first downs. They brought out and measured, but it's the first down, Dallas. At the San Francisco 12-yard line. Merton Hanks just turned around and asked the crowd to get back involved. The yeah. Cowboys have quieted them down a bit. This is where they like to go to either Irvin or Harper on that short post. That's Johnston on the move again. Irvin split wide left. He can't get out, and Aikman just threw it away. Yep, and that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to go on that short post, and, and Deion Sanders just took it away. Michael Irvin is arguing with the official that Deion held him. Here he is here. He's just going to try and get to that inside. Deion is going to jump in and take it away. Michael Irvin says, oh, boy, did Deion clamp on him. He did clamp on there. That's why he took it oh, away. Yeah. That's who he was trying to throw to. We know Deion Sanders is fast. Maybe the fastest guy in the NFL. But the way those two hands came up there, he may also be the quickest guy. Second down. Aikman fake. Now Aikman is out running. Faking, throwing. Touchdown. Irvin, let's see. They're still arguing. Out of bounds, I believe he called now. You see, there's Michael Irvin right there, and he knows that he has to stay in bounds. The ball is thrown out of bounds, and he has one foot on the line, and the other foot's out anyway. This is close. But look how controlled he is, but the ball's not there yet. And by the time right. the ball got there, that left foot was on the line anyway. That's a good call. But Detroit Aikman has zipped that ball and did Whoa. Michael Irvin show control by just sitting there. Third and ten. Time for the great ones to stand forward. A timeout. Dallas. 21 to 7. The game is brought to you by Honda, who invites you to test drive the new Odyssey, the Honda of Minivan. By Bud Bowl 7. This year, it's going to be a whole new ball game. And by MCI's new friends and family, an automatic 25% savings on every call in the U.S. Candlestick Park, third and ten, Dallas, at the San Francisco 12. The 49ers leading 21 to 7. Second quarter, third and ten. Aikman gives on a draw play. Well, I don't know where that call came from. That was a give-up call. I don't know. Third and ten, there's no way they're going to pick up ten yards. They are down 21-7, and, and maybe they felt that the coverage was so good down here. I would, I'm surprised at Ernie Zampezi with that call. I think you just chunk one into the end zone. You know, go for the seven, and if that doesn't work, then settle for a field goal. But there was no way that they were going to make ten yards on a draw play to Emmett Smith. Chris Bonio from 27 yards away with Jay Novacek holding. Bonio's kick is wide left. No good. That was a terrible Cowboy series. 21-7. The score remains with 10-19 left in the second. Mark the NFC Championship game. Howie Long and a man, Matt Mellon. Yep, there's two old Raiders.
two old Raiders. Howie Long, in fact, he was one of the last two. He was an Oakland Raider. Howie Long was. Matt Millen was an Oakland Raider and L.A. Raider. Two great players, two great guys. <laughs> and they fill up the screen. Look, I mean, from here, the whole box, they just fill, we just flew them out of there when they started making a box. Just made them disappear. Matt's got on your jacket. Yeah, I know he did. He stole the jacket off my bus. And I'll guarantee you it won't be back either. Ricky Waters. Tackled after a yard. Right now for a McDonald's game break. Let's go back to James Brown. All right, Pat, two big pass plays fell the difference in San Diego's come from behind victory today. This is the second one. Stan Humphreys throwing to Tony Martin, one of the fastest in the league, 43 yards for the score. San Diego wins it 17-13. Take it back upstairs to Pat Summerall. All right, JB. Surprise to almost everybody. San Diego beating Pittsburgh. Here's Young back to throw. Going deep. Rice. Oh, the official, they talked him, oh, into, talked him it. into it. Yeah, that was a late one. That one didn't come and didn't come and didn't come. And finally they threw it out of there. Larry Brown was covering Rice. And the 49ers, if they were going to pick a guy they were going to work on deep, it was going to be Larry Brown. But that official didn't pull that one out right away. Defense, number 24. First down. Well, that's luck. And then here's Larry Brown here. You see him out there on Jerry Rice. He gets a little bump there. Rice is looking for the ball. He had that left arm in there. But I think you have to let him do that. If you don't let... A guy have a little bump or a little contact, they cannot play football. You saw what Deion Sanders did on Michael Irvin. You have to let defensive backs have a little contact to play. The 49ers dig out of a hole. First and 10 at the Dallas 45. Young will throw it again, going for more. Incomplete, intended for John Taylor. Boy, are they working on Charles Haley over there. Steve Wallace is really fired up. You're going to see Steve Wallace here. Here's Charles Haley. Charles Haley has been quiet today. Wallace is going to get some help. You see, they come and they try and cut him. Then Jesse Sapolo comes out on him. Someone that may rush Steve Young today, but the 49ers are saying it's not going to be number 94. The ex-49er, Charles Haley, looking for his fifth Super Bowl ring. Steve Wallace is... Wife gave birth last night. Congratulations to him and to her. This is Ricky Waters. Into the muddy spot. And past the markers. Where did Ricky Waters get into that hole quickly? Charles Haley, watch Haley. He's going to come, boom, he's going to come flying down here. And if Ricky Waters doesn't get to that hole quickly and get through it, look at that. I mean, he, he beat Haley by a step in there. That's why a running back, you have to get into, through, and hold, uh, through the hole quickly, or that guy from the outside is flattening down is going to catch you. And they double Leon Lett right out of the hole. Yeah, and in, the, in, in this mud, if you don't have real long cleats on, boy, that can be like you're on ice. And yeah, they're right in a muddy spot right here. This is Waters. Stopped by Robert Jones. Maybe a yard. This is the thing, you know, all the all the players are wearing the longer cleats in this game. The longest cleat that they have is three-quarter inch. Right. Remember, they used to have one-inch cleats. Cowboys were trying to get some one-inch cleats yesterday. Like their owner, Jerry Jones, was calling all over, and they couldn't find any. It's a really muddy spot where they are right now. Oh, they're, yeah. They're revolving a rotating seven footballs in an effort to keep the ball in shape. And our reporter down in the field, Matt Millen, told us that, that there's seven balls being rotated and that they're keeping them dry. Young fakes, gets around Haley. Young cut down by Brown. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, that's, that's where they heard him before, but see, now, Haley is up here and he's going to come. Young is going to bootleg around, him, but they're giving someone else the responsibility to come up outside. You see Haley coming here, right there. See, he's the outside guy. In fact, it was Leon Lett was the outside guy. And then they get outside of him, but either a defensive back or linebacker is going to get up there. And the linebacker who came up fell down. That'll happen. Yep, in this part of the field or anywhere on the field. I heard down and three. I think you want to get, in fact, Steve Young's taking a timeout now. I think, I think you want to get the ball out of there quickly by throwing it to the wide receivers. 
49ers and Dallas both have two timeouts remaining. Special, the NFC Championship game is brought to you by Plymouth Neon. Say hello to the frisky new Plymouth Neon Sport Coupe. Back in San Francisco, the Aplac trivia question. What NFC Championship game has had the most Pro Bowl players in it? What NFC Championship game has had the most Pro Bowl players in it? Third and three on the Dallas 27. Young on the quarterback draw. Fires. Oh, that was dangerous. Whoa. That was an option quarterback draw. Try and change your mind and throw a pass. Whoop. I don't know where that one came from. He might have been over the line of scrimmage. In fact, look at the Cowboy coaching staff on the other side of the field. I think he was, he was going to run the draw here. Then he got up there and he saw that they that they read the draw. And so he just threw it out there to Brent Jones. There's a line of scrimmage. Here. Let's see if he's up. I think he's about right Whoa. at the line of scrimmage when he threw that when one. When he let it go. Yeah, but that was just changing your mind. That was going to run a, that was going to be a draw play all the way. Fourth and three. And again, no running backs for Young. This time he gets it to Brent Jones, and they get a first down. Yeah, Brent Jones was open on the draw, so he threw it to him. Again, that Aflac trivia question. The NFC Championship game. The answer is today's NFC Championship game features 20 1994 Pro Bowl selections. That's the most ever. And that's what makes this, you know, game so big is that you not only have the two best teams in football, but you got most of the best players in football, or a big part of the best players in football. Two of them involved in that last completion. Young to Jones. Hand off to Ricky Waters. Yeah, you're going to look at this first half, though, and you know about those three turnovers, and that turned into 21 points. But I still say if there's any turning point or anything that was bad in that first half, it was that last time the Cowboys had that ball. When they get third and ten and run a draw to Emmett Smith and then go miss a field goal, I go, wow, that's bad football. It at, the 12 yard at the 12-yard line. Yeah. That is not championship football. Now, that's where they put the old balls, and here's the new football. So these are the ones they haven't used yet but are ready. And this guy holds them. And he has the towels. And they're doing a good job of keeping the football dry. Here's Young going high in the direction of Jerry Rice. Now that guy does what? Yeah. He's uh, see what they do is they throw it no one in. And then they give that guy a new, a new one. And then as long as those towels are dry, yeah. he can wipe them off. But if sometimes, you know, if it's really raining, those towels get wet, and then the guys get stuck on dumb, and then they just keep drying the ball off the, the wet towel. Third and eight. San Francisco leading Dallas. 21 to 7. Waters behind Young. Steve Young fires at the middle. Almost a touchdown to Jerry Rice. He had it and lost it. Young was a little high, but Rice normally. But this is what you have to do. I mean, it gets it, it gets third down, then, then you throw it to your best receiver in the end zone. Here's Jerry Rice. He's running the slant. Again, that's double coverage. He runs right by Brock Marion, number 31, who was supposed to help. And it ends up the closest guy is Kevin Smith. But I think that's the way you're supposed to play football. I mean, you go down there, boom, you get it. You try and get it to your best receiver. If it doesn't work, then you try your best. You give him a chance. This is Doug Bryan from 34 yards out trying for a field goal. And he hits it. And the 49ers move ahead 24 to 7 with 554 left in the second quarter candlestick park and outside in the parking lot festivities go that's a different kind of cookout well yeah because they have you know it's right here fisherman's wharf is right down the street so they just they just bring the old lobsters there all right Pete. you throw them in a bucket and you and you cook them and then you bring them out then you grill them boy you can't beat that Look at that big old oh, beaten lob. Whoa, what a meal those guys are that having. They look good. That's a good group. I wonder where they are. Kevin Williams and Brock Marion back deep for Dallas. Doug Bryan for the fifth time will kick off. 
And a low bouncing kick. Kevin Williams. Outside to the, about the 36. NFC Championship game. Dallas first and 10 at their own 37. Novacek is the man in motion, and Aikman goes back to throw. Gets it outside to Emmett Smith, and Emmett gets across the 40-yard line. Stopped by Gary Plummer. Well, we were talking to Troy Aikman last night. We asked him about last year's championship game and the day before and how he felt the day before. He said he doesn't even remember the day before. Remember last, last year's year, championship? Yeah. He got knocked out, didn't remember the championship game, played the next week in the Super Bowl, didn't remember the Super Bowl game. And he said that he couldn't remember what happened the day before the championship game. Second down. Aikman a throw. And caught by Jade Novacek as they move across midfield. Here's what a result of a hit to the head that caused Aikman that condition you were talking about. Watch Dennis Brown's knee. Yeah, number 96 right there. Right knee in the helmet. He went out of that game. Bernie Kozar finished the game. Yeah. He played the next week in the Super Bowl and said he didn't remember that. But he didn't even remember what happened before that happened to him. That's Boy, scary. Those scary things. Yeah. They really are. He gets to Emmett Smith. Smith across the 49 40. Stopped by Rhett Hall at about the San Francisco time. You would all. You have the feeling that the, the Cowboy offensive line is getting control of this 49er defense now. And that Emmett Smith is getting a little more confidence in that in that torn hamstring. Clock running down to four minutes now. 24 to 7, second and five. Aikman fake to Smith, rolls right, throws back to Novacek, a tight end screen, and Novacek stays on his feet, still on his feet. Novacek fights down to the 19-yard line. Plummer and Norton down in the area. Yeah, the watch is he starts off like he's going to block. You see, he comes down, then he kind of hides, then he's going to sneak across. The action, the bootleg went to that side. He sneaked across. The lineman sneaked out with him. How 360-pound guys sneak anywhere, I have no idea. But they did, and then he just kept running. Red Hall missed him. Deion Sanders missed him, and it turned into a pretty big play. A first and 10 Dallas at the San Francisco 20. Aikman back to throw at line of scrimmage, I believe, by Brian Young. Uh, you talk about a guy who made a, a, a pretty big impact on things. It's been this guy right here, Brian Young. Uh, so stunned. Push, 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 that's the guy, bro. Just get your. He's going to take your arm. So, oh, that's Aikman ready to throw it and just gets that right hand up in that throwing lane and take away. Second and ten. They fake a reverse. They run a reverse. Kevin Williams almost broke away from a tackle by Tim Harris. If he had, he could have gotten in the end zone. You're right. That was a big play by Tim Harris. I mean, that guy, the contained guy, has to. Here's Tim Harris here. The action starts this way, and then the reverse is going to come back. He has to play it. When they start away, you have to check and look for reverse. Watch Tim Harris here. He sees him go away, and then he just waits and waits and waits. And right there, he makes that play that could have saved a touchdown. Third down. And about six. Here comes a blitz from San Francisco. But when fires caught by Irvin in front of Sanders, out of bounds at the five. That's one of the great matchups in football. Two of the players football. Michael Irvin, one of the best receivers. Deion Sanders, the best cover corner. Playing man-to-man, -man, tight coverage. It doesn't get any better than this. Michael used his hands, getting a little push. Troy Aikman, the minute that Michael Irvin made that cut, the ball was right there. A lot of it was Michael Irvin. A lot of it was a pass protection. And a big part of it was Troy Aikman. Two-minute warning. First and goal, Dallas at the 49er. 
four and a half yard line. Eagle from Carson, California, outside of Los Angeles, over Candlestick Park, took 18 straight hours of flying to fly from LA up here to Candlestick. 18 hours. That's how bad the weather's been in this area. And the winds and the rain and what have you. It's all uphill, too. Yep. You know, Blimp is, is kind of like a big old offensive lineman. You know, kind of like a Kennard or Nate Newton. Number 60, 61. Yeah. They don't go anywhere fast. <laughs> and they can't sneak anywhere either. But they can be effective. Very, very effective. Cowboys going a quick count. Emmett Smith is going to get in the end zone. The 49er defense was unsettled. They were still shifting around when Emmett took it in. Like you said, that, that, that was a good play there in that situation. Makes you think back to the last time they were running down there and they ran that draw. But watch how they catch them switching. Watch the 49er defense. You see they're, they're moving back and forth, adjusting, and then they go on that quick count. The 49ers weren't ready for any kind of play, and the Cowboys did some good running and some good blocking. What a good lead by Darrell Johnston to take out Deion Sanders. He just rode him backward. He just put him right on his back. The first thing that hit the ground, I think, was his, the back of the two and the back of the one. Bonio for the extra point is good, and it's 24-14. San Francisco by 10 as they hook up Emmett again. Well, and, you know, it seems to be working. He told us last night that he was going to play a smarter game and he was going to stay more in control and, and try and get through the whole game. And I thought after we finished talking to him, I thought, yeah, I had to feel he's going to play this whole game. Uh -huh. And then and then how about the plays that Michael Irvin made that that one up for the touchdown that kind of got him all started. And then that out that he ran man to man on Deion Sanders. And, and a heck block. of a catch on that sideline. And then that block, that lead block on the touchdown by Daryl Johnson. That too on Deion Sanders. And so they're 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 going after. I mean, just watch Daryl Johnston here. There's Nate Newton, and here comes Daryl Johnston right there. He just right there it is, right there. He just takes him right back out of the picture, knocks him right off the picture. He was in the picture, and boom, he hit him, and then he knocked him right off the picture. Bonio looking for a dry spot to kick off Dexter Carter back deep for San Francisco. 49ers unsettled on that touchdown by Smith. Now he's got the tee sideways. That's what that quick count was was good for. I yep. mean, they, they were they were moving and shifting, and and then they also had a quick count going against them and some pretty good blocking. Of course, the danger of a soccer-style kicker in a situation like this is you have to plant that left foot, and he can slip down in that mud. He gets it off. Good kick. Dexter Carter retreats all the way to the one. And he's got an alley. Carter tripped up at the 35. Don't forget, coming up next week, the event of the year, the all Madden, Madden team, the Little Caesars all Madden team, the 11th annual. That's hard to believe. Yeah, well, you know, we, we even have special food. You know, when we're going to feed our guys, we take them to this place right here. We got our own cooks. You wonder who's cooking that stuff? Boy, it looks good. Yeah, well, you know, it's he called the stuff. Oh, it is hot. I've been not bite that just yet. <laughs> but, uh, yo, this is it. A Capel Deli. Young fires up midfield to Brent Jones, and he gets the 49er first down to the 49. Stopped by Robert Jones. Yeah, that was Nate. He was in the kitchen there making those stubs, and that's what, remember, Troy Aikman brought us one of those things. They are good. Young back quickly has time. Throws out of bounds in the direction of Jerry Rice incomplete. One of the, by Kevin Smith. Yeah, you know, one of the things about both these teams is is that they're not that running game, you know, defense, ball control. When the Cowboys and the 49ers play, it's going to be a shootout. And that's why, again, that play, when, you know, without beating it to death, when they ran that third down draw and then missed the kick, that kind of surprised me because that's unlike the Cowboys and unlike the 49ers. But this, what we're seeing right here, is like the 49ers and Cowboys. Open it up. Second and ten. 
49ers not trying to run out any clock. Young goes back to throw. Wide open is Ricky Waters, and he just dropped it. Nobody even close. Ricky Waters just left it on the ground. I'll tell you one thing. The pass rushers in this game have been having a difficult time. Yep. So you can say it's the field for the pass rushers, or you can say that it's the offensive lines are having a good game. But watch the offensive line here just picking up the stunts. Haley starts to the outside. Steve Wallace is staying with him. Jesse just puts his guy to the outside, gives Steve Young a good lane. Third and ten, three wide receivers. Nate Singleton in the game for San Francisco. Again, Young has time and wheels it out of bounds. Incomplete. High over the head of Brent Jones, but again, his protection was reasonably good. Yeah, and he needed some help that time because Charlie Haley's going to be here. He's going to take an inside move here. In fact, when Wallace comes, Haley runs right over him. But what they do is they're going to bring their center to the side of Charles Haley. You see Bart Oates come to that side. You see that? So you get two on Haley. Haley runs over one, and then you get your center to take the outside guy. So you end up three on two. Dallas has nobody deep. They're going to come after this one. Wilmsmeyer back to punt. Standing sideways. Got it out of there in a hurry. Nobody deep for the Cowboys. The ball's going to drop dead right there. 49ers down it at the Dallas 16. That's one thing. When football hits mud, it'll become dead. Twenty-four fourteen. Forty ers over the Cowboys. There's the halftime show right set. Right up there. It's nice to see him here. It's nice to see the yeah. guys. Look, they're getting ready. There's JB. There's Terry. I saw a couple of them live yeah. already. Yeah. There's Howie. There's Jimmy. Look at them. They're getting their faces on. Rubbing their hands. Sometimes you rub your hands like that and, and you freshen up and it and it goes right to your brain to help you talk. A minute and two seconds left as Aikman goes back to throw it. He was hit just as he let it go. It's almost picked off by the 49ers toy cook. He had a clear track down the sideline if he did. Uh, that looked like it, it was the last shot out of the Roman candle. I mean, that ball just came flopping up in the air, and it was it was a jump ball for anyone. But you see what happens? Just 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 as he was throwing that ball, it looked like his arm got deflected, and then he went sideways. You know, like a pitcher throws a curveball, yeah. and it came out of there like a. Like a curveball that got away from a wild left-hander. That went behind the batter. Here's Aikman again. This time, the rush again comes, and again he throws it away. Aikman is hit down, gets slowly to his feet. Bryant Young on him again. Well, we were just talking about how it was, and then Bryant Young. Here's Bryant Young right here. And see, he starts a little stunt. He starts to the inside, then he works to the outside. But it was pretty good coverage. Aikman had to hold that ball a little longer than he wanted to. And then he was just trying to throw it away. I mean, he that, that was about his fourth read. He had a one, two, three read, and four was thrown out of bounds. Three wide receivers for the Cowboys. Harper is left, covered by Sanders. A pump fake. And Aikman goes over the head of Michael Irvin. And they'll have to punt it. Uh, 42 seconds left in the first half. I was going to say that that surprises me a little there that they didn't run that one uh, because the 49ers are now going to get the ball back and get it back in pretty good shape. And Steve Young is going to go for it again. You know, like I said, Ernie Zampisa, he's opening that thing up now, the offensive coordinator of the Cowboys. And, you know, Mike Shanahan, the offensive coordinator of the 49ers, is going to. John Jett back to punt it. Dexter Carter, deep for San Francisco. Weak kick by Jet, bounces back, and the Cowboys hit it, rock it loose. The Cowboys touched it first, and so the 49ers will take over at about the, the Dallas 39-yard line with time left, 30 seconds and two timeouts. 
J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy. First half analysis. Chargers and Steelers report. Chargers upsetting the Steelers. Here's Young. Gets on a track to Floyd. Jeff Coat wrestles him to the ground. 49ers have two timeouts left. Yeah, they just took one of them. Right, and all they need is a, a pass completion or two, and they're in in uh, position for a pretty good field goal. In fact, right here would be about a 52-yarder if they had to kick it here, and, and, and that'd be tough because it's on a on a tough field, but that's what they're talking about now is all they need is a is a first down to get another field goal here. The day itself has turned out to be exceptionally good after a week and weeks of rain but the field at candlestick is showing the effects of all that moisture that they've had in this area John you've been here most of the time yeah and it's been raining all the time and I say this that these guys have really done an excellent job with this field because you know with all that rain they played here last week that it had to be bad this has to be a bad field but I think Within the context of this has to be a bad field. I think it's pretty darn good. Of course, they had a playoff game against the Bears last week, and it was wet then, so they cut it up pretty good. Second and six, and Young is back to throw. William Floyd, who goes about 240. Got Steve, that uh, first down. Steve Young had to use that timeout. He couldn't get his team up there. He was trying to save that last timeout. They have no more. Yep, he had to use it. He was trying to he was trying to get it and, and, and save it, but he couldn't get the team up there. So now what he has to do, now he has to throw the ball in the end zone or to the sidelines because I don't think you'll have the time to take a chance. You know, of, of a ball being caught and get up there and get your field goal team out there. 13 seconds left. Brian getting ready. His long has been 48 yards. This would be shorter than that. They, the Cowboys have field. given have given the 49ers every opportunity in this really? first half from some of the plays they called to the three turnovers and and to only be down 24 to 14, I think that they can take some confidence into the locker room on that. Well, they've been able to move the ball. When they had the patience to do that and didn't turn it over. Two tight ends. Young goes back to throw, going deep. For Jerry Rice covered by Brown. Touchdown. Touchdown. Young to Rice. If the Cowboys didn't run it out when they had it, they didn't put anyone back on the punt. You thought they were going to run it out. They didn't. They gave the 49ers an opportunity. They had a bad punt. And when you give the 49ers an opportunity, they're going to go after you. Here's Larry Brown. The 49ers said he's the guy that we're going to work on deep. And if you're going to work on him deep, work on him with Jerry Rice. A little out and a little up and a perfect pass. Who can they go for you? He just went right by him. Yep. And Jerry Rice on Larry Brown is no matchup. The Cowboys don't have a chance on that one. Brian for the extra point. Which is good and it's 31 to 14. And the 49ers have been living with that thing, and Steve Young has had that yeah butt on his back for a long time. Here where they say, well, Steve Young, you know, he hasn't been to a Super Bowl yet. He can't win the big one. And you can just see, when you do something like that, that all those things that start to just fall off your back. Yep. And having a guy like Jerry Rice helps, too. They used five seconds. They snapped the ball with 13, now they're eight. 45 points scored in the first half. Yeah, we were talking about that just, just before it happened. It, the 49ers don't have that play in their playbook, that kneel down play at the halftime. I don't know what that means. Well, but they're gonna go for it, and then then maybe, maybe because they had to use that last time out, they had to throw the ball to the end zone, so that made them throw the ball to Jerry Rice. 
someone says smile George smile well, well he had to throw it in the end zone yeah he had to throw it in the end zone which became a negative thing for the Cowboys yeah. because they threw it to Jerry Rice on Larry Brown and now the, the 49ers at this point can just take over this game and the Cowboys have to go in thinking holy moly what just hit us there at the end now they should have really never had an opportunity to do that now once you know on that on that fun return when they didn't put anything back I thought that that was their decision let's just go in at halftime the way we are and San Francisco will get the second half kickoff that's what Michael Irvin I think that's that's I mean that that whole cowboy sideline is upset with that Ball blew off the tee as Brian approached it. And the whistles blow and they'll do it again. There goes Jim Floyd headed for the locker room for San Francisco a little early. Yeah, uh, you know, we talked about rookies that have helped this 49er team. We know about the veterans. We talked about Bryant Young. And on the offensive side, this guy right here, William Floyd has really been a big addition to this 49er team. They bounce a kick down to Kevin Williams. And he gets out to about the 46 yard line. And the clock shows three seconds remaining. And a little bit of a shoving match starts to break out again. Matt Vanderbeek in the middle of things. Here's William Floyd headed for the locker room. How about Michael Irvin how upset he was and I yeah. think that saying you know he probably felt that you know that the 49ers had the momentum and then the Cowboys I thought got the momentum back and then the 49ers got it back from them again. Michael Irvin back into the huddle with three seconds to go now you got to take a shot at the end zone certainly or do you just run it out. No I think you just throw one of those things up you know, you know because the half can in on a penalty so you hope for a completion or a defensive penalty. Aikman's going to try it. He just goes deep to Harper and lets him jump. Incomplete. Maybe intercepted. It was intercepted by the 49ers but that's academic. Aikman took a pretty good shot. Yeah he did take a good shot. But Troy Aikman he steps up and just as he throws that Tim Harris hit him and I think he took more of a shot when he hit the ground and wobbled a little. That's the end of the first half with the score San Francisco 31 Dallas 14. Stay tuned for the Dockers halftime as this Fox NFL special will continue after this message and a word from your local Fox station. Yeah, and it starts off with a, a defensive highlight. The highlighted guy there is Eric Davis and he's really the guy who got the 49ers started he's on Michael Irvin here he looks like he's playing man to man comes off on a zone sees that out coming towards him jumps that ball and gets the first big play and touchdown for the 49ers and that one really got the 49ers off running yeah and then and then he got another turnover on a strip to Michael Irvin and then the 49ers got a third turnover and that became 21 points quickly and then he got an interception just before the end of the half to compare Aikman and Young Troy 11 out of 21 Steve 9 out of 20 two touchdowns for Steve Young that last one to Jerry Rice Aikman hit Irvin for one of the Dallas touchdowns Jerry Rice you can contain him just so long yeah, and you know and they played right into their hands I mean yeah. the 49ers took a timeout and meant that they had to go to the end zone so if you're going to have to go to the end zone you may as well go to Jerry Rice and he got one of his two catches and of course it was a touchdown and you see what Michael Irvin has done in the first half if you have Jerry Rice and if you know they got to take a shot at the end zone why don't you double him. Yeah I would I would do something to him. I mean I wouldn't leave a Larry Brown out there on him all by himself. Bonio the kick off to start the second half. Dexter Carter. Fumble. Ball loose. Dallas has a hat. To compare Aikman and Young. 
Troy 11 out of 21 Steve 9 out of 20 two touchdowns for Steve Young that last one to Jerry Rice Aikman hit Irvin for one of the Dallas touchdowns Jerry Rice you can contain him just so long yeah and you know and they played right into their hands I mean yeah. the 49ers took a timeout and meant that they had to go to the end zone so if you're going to have to go to the end zone you may as well go to Jerry Rice and he got one of his two catches and of course it was a touchdown and you see what Michael Irvin has done in the first half if you have Jerry Rice and if you know they got to take a shot at the end zone why don't you double him yeah I would I would do something to him I mean I wouldn't leave a Larry Brown out there on him all by himself Bone y'all to kick off to start the second half Dexter Carter fumble ball loose Dallas has it there was a short kick by Bonio. Adam Walker fielded it and lost it. And Dallas has it. Dave Thomas made the recovery. And you say the short kick, he never did get it under control. And it just bounced right off his chest. And then Adam Walker, and then when he went to pick it up, he got hit just as he went to pick it up. And the ball bounced out of there. And I'm sure that Joe Avizano, the special teams coach of the Cowboys, I'm sure that's what they talked about that we need a big play and you know, we got to change this thing we had the momentum then they took it away from us again and we got to go get it back they get a break Dallas first down Emmett Smith just gets a couple Dana Stubblefield and Bryant Young converge those two are really the foundation now and this foundation in the future of yeah, the San Francisco yeah, defense. It's interesting. They paid a lot of money. They brought in a Ken Norton. They brought in a Ricky Jackson. They brought in Richard Dent, who, by the way, isn't even active today. They brought in Deion Sanders and all those guys. Deion Sanders has been real, real big. But maybe the most dominant player for him has been the rookie Bryant Young as a defensive tackle. Alvin Harper split out to the left and Aikman back to throw it. Gets it to Irvin. And Irvin leans back for enough for a first down for Dallas. Aikman was hit again after he let it go. Yeah, but he had pretty good time, though. I mean, I, I think that now his offensive line has given him pretty good protection. I mean, that right side's having a little problem. You see, he had time. He looked right. He came back left, and he really didn't get hit until that ball was out of there. In fact, that was Bryant Young that hit him, and that was pretty close to a late hit. First and 10 at the 15, and Michael Irvin out and holding his wrist. That was the same wrist that he hurt last week. Emmett Smith hit right at the goal, right at the line of scrimmage after maybe he got a yard and knocked backwards. And again, let's send you down to Matt Millen. Yeah, thanks, Pat. I talked to Ernie Zampini, the offensive coordinator of the Cowboys. As he was coming out at halftime, I said, any adjustments you have to make? He says, yeah, too. We can't turn the ball over, and we have to get some of our own. And so far, the plan's working. Pat? Thanks, Pat. They got one. As Adam Walker fumbled that second-half kickoff, Dallas has its second and 10 at the 15. They've got to throw it. Aikman wheels it out to Harper. Uh, to Irvin, I beg your pardon, knocked down by Deion Sanders. And Deion Sanders won that battle. That was the same one earlier. Remember in the first half, we got this thing going here, and it's going to come out here and be an out. Tight man-to-man -man coverage. Michael Irvin in the first half caught that one. You see him get his right hand up there and push it off? Deion played that perfectly. Rode with him and then just stuck that left hand in there and got it. He even played the push-off. That's good coverage. Yeah, Michael Irvin pushed him off. He played it and reacted back from it. Three wide receivers. The 49ers showing blitz. Aikman rush gets it off to the 10 and a flag on the play. And I think that one is going to be rough in the passer there. I think they came close earlier with Bryant Young. I think they're going to call that one. Ken Norton in a shouting match with Emmett Smith. They came close, you're right. Yeah, they came close earlier hitting Troy Aikman. I think after he threw the ball, 
And I think that they may have called this last one. Ricky Jackson doesn't like whatever the call is, so. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 57. A blow to the head. A blow to the head. First down. You're going to see, here's, here's Ricky Jackson up here, number 57, working on Larry Allen. Now, Troy Aikman throws the ball, but it wasn't the late hit that they call. It's a blow to the head. Watch number 57, Ricky Jackson, take a swing with the right hand right there. You see him, and he just hit Troy Aikman right in the head. First and goal, Dallas at the five. Ricky Jackson playing this game, as John Madden said, for an awful lot of money. 838 foul. Emmett Smith gets to the one. Emmett Smith's letting it all hang out. I mean, you know, he was talking about control running, and control running doesn't include jumping and then landing on your feet and have to push off again. I, mean, I think Emmett Smith says, you know, throw that hamstring out. Let's not worry about that. Let's just go get it. Because on that run, he did. Well, a great runner like Smith does so much by instinct. When you have to stop and think about what you're doing, you're not the same runner. Yeah, and he's a tough guy. I mean, you never question that. Stone has replaced Allen in the offensive line. Emmett Smith touchdown down Dallas. Well, it just shows you it's amazing what turnovers do. We saw the 49ers get the turnovers. Boom, three touchdowns, 21 points. The second half, the Cowboys come out. They get that turnoff. Boom, 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 right down there. And Emmett Smith takes it in. Two touchdowns, not a lot of yardage for Emmett. Not up to his standards. He's a warrior. I'll take him on my team anytime. Anytime. Chris Bonio, Chris Bonio for the extra point. Nova checks the holder. The extra point is good. And Dallas has narrowed the gap to 10. Brought to you by IBM and the innovative, award-winning ThinkPad family of notebook computers. By the new Toyota T100 Extra Cab. More room, more power. It's the Toyota of big trucks. By McDonald's, the official restaurant of the National Football League. And by Levi, 100% cotton, wrinkle-free dockers. Pants so soft, they shrug off wrinkles. The NFC Championship game at Candlestick Park. Pat Summerall with John Madden. 31-21. San Francisco leads by 10. The 49ers got up in a hurry, 21 to nothing. Dallas got a turnover on the opening kickoff of the second half by Bonio, who's still looking for a dry spot. 28 of the 52 points in this contest has come as a result, have come as a result of turnovers. You know, that was what Matt Miller was talking about. Ernie Zampezi says is we have to stop giving them and, and start getting them. And, and that's so true. I mean, these teams are so evenly matched that it's going to boil down to turnovers. Getting or giving. Boniol approaches and kicks. A good deep kick to Dexter Carter at the seven. Carter stepped away from one tackler. And down he goes at the 30. James Washington. Pat, let's watch this. Here's Mark Tournay. Here's Bryant Young. Here's Ken Norton. Now, this is what you call a goal line block. When you have a tackle fire out, knock the guy off the line and into the other guy. I mean, watch Tournay. He's going to fire into his guy right here, get Bryant Young going backwards, knock Bryant Young right into Ken Norton, and knock Ken Norton down. Now, that's how you get touchdown. When your left tackle can flat and pancake two guys you're going to get six there's young gets it to floyd and floyd gets about four the turnovers four by dallas one by san francisco and the result yeah and that uh, that fourth turnover i think that the 49ers had was that last play yes. at the half so they didn't right. then the the, the the 49ers didn't have a chance to make any points out of that but that was a, a goal line block by old Mark Tuane. That's why he's going to the Pro Bowl. Second and five. Waters deployed behind Young. They get to Ricky Waters. Waters breaks out of the Dallas deep speed. Uh, San Francisco 
First down, hard running by Ricky Waters. They a good block by Jesse Sapolo too. Watch this. Here's Waters right here. Here's Jesse Sapolo. He's going to come through here. Waters, you get right in behind your guard, and he hits the hole right after Jesse opens it up. You see 61 come, and boom, he gets the block right there. And then when he blocks Robert Jones, Ricky Waters blocks or runs right off Jesse Sapolo's block. First down, San Francisco. Young. <laughs> Floyd stood up by Chad Henning. Well, this is good hitting weather, too, and there's some good hitting going on down there. Godfrey Miles, who replaced Dixon Edwards. Edwards out earlier with a dislocated shoulder. You know what makes good hitting weather is when the, when the rain hits the ground and becomes mud. You know, and then, and then everyone's kind of slopping around down there and grunting and groaning and... You know, you get mud and stuff flying and gang tackles and scrums and quagmires. Well, it's happened. Here's Steve Young with plenty of time. And uh, open, John Taylor. And they move into Dallas territory. The 49ers look unstoppable when they put it in the air. Yeah, and especially when they throw over here. You know, this is the area that they want to work. They said that they were going to work Larry Brown. And that's what they do. And Larry Brown is so worried about that deep pattern that when you're running out, Larry Brown's covering the up. When you're running up, he's covering the out. They got him playing sideways now. First and 10, San Francisco at the Dallas 38. 31-21, the score. Waters and Floyd behind Steve Young. Over the head of Ricky Waters. I'll tell you one thing, that left side of the 49er offensive line, Jesse Sapolo, who just showed on a run block, and Steve Wallace have been doing an excellent job. It's the first time they've played, they've had trouble, but right here I'm talking about this side here against this group. Here's, here's the best pass rushers of that Cowboy defense, and that left side has been doing a pretty good job. You see Jesse there, you see Steve Wallace there. Like they got pretty close to Steve yeah, Young that did. time, but basically they've been doing a good job. They made him throw high. Somebody moved. I think it was Jesse Sapolo who moved before the snap. Yep, that always shows. I mean, those guys don't get pointed out a lot. Then you point them out, and then All bad start. stuff happens to Offense, them. Offense prior to the snap, number 61, five-yard penalty, still second down. Brings up a second and 15, two-time Pro Bowl selection, Jesse Sapolo. Yeah, Jesse's thinking, geez, I made that block that sprung Ricky Waters, and then I got pushed a little by Leon Lett in pass protection, and maybe because Leon Lett pushed me a little, I jumped offside. Steve Young chased out of the pocket finally by Dallas, and he's going to take off and runs out of bounds after he picked up about five. Darren Smith in pursuit. Yeah, that's the thing that they said. If Steve Young is going to run, uh, they're going to treat him like a running back. But if you're going to treat him like a running back and hit him hard, you got to catch him first. And, and you got to hit him in bounds. Right. And, and Steve Young is so fast and so quick and such a good athlete, it's hard to really to get to him. I mean, there's a lot of times you'd like to do something to someone you can't get to him. That's the way Steve Young is. Third and ten. A one out of six on third down conversion. <laughs> Someone moved. Haley jumped into the backfield. I think it's somebody on 49ers on the 49ers offensive line. You see what Steve Young did? He he just gave him that gave up thing. He told Haley. He saw. He looked up and saw Charles Plus Haley side. coming. Defense unabated towards the quarterback. Five yards. Repeat the down. Third down. All against Haley. Yeah, and I think the you know key word is being unabated. But watch Steve Young, and when he sees unabated, boom, you just go right down. Unabated means take a knee right now, and you don't call anything. And you don't get hit by Haley. Yeah, here's number 94, and this is what an unabated is. I mean, he just went unabated. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you go baited, sometimes you go unabated. That's a good word. Here's Steve Young with time. Gets it to Brent Jones, and the 49ers will move the sticks. Darren Woodson made the stop. He has so many people to throw the ball to. 
And the thing that he does is he throws it to all of them. Here's Brent Jones. He's just going to come and find a hole in the middle in the zone. See, he had Bill Bates on him. Then once he felt Bates on his outside shoulder, he just moved to the inside. He read the coverage. Steve Young read the same thing Brent Jones read. Total yards are pretty even. The turnovers are not even. Waters. Ricky Waters inside the 10. Out of bounds at about the 6. Pushed out of bounds by Kevin Smith. 49ers have always been that kind of team from the days of Bill Walsh where they start out they start out passing and then they set up the run most teams you know they start up the running game to set up the pass the 49ers have always been one of those teams that give you a heavier dose of running in the second half than they do in the first half 734 and the clock running first and goal at the six waters is split out this time here's where Steve Young becomes so dangerous the handoff is deployed he got a couple, but that's all. Chad Hennings made the stop along with Godfrey Miles. James Washington was trying to talk to William Floyd. I don't think that does any good. I think, I think William Floyd's a pretty tough guy. Yes, I he don't, is. I don't think that there's going to be any kind of talk or anything that's going to intimidate him. Floyd checked out second and goal from the three now. Well, I think he's a guy we may take on our team. I kind of like to pack that guy around too. Floyd? Yeah. Young is alone. Here's that quarterback draw set up. And Young gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Steve Young. Oh boy, I think that monkey just left that left shoulder. I think he threw it off right there with that touchdown. He had a draw, and there was no draw there. He had to run. And then he had to run like a running back on that one. You expect to think when he stops back and he gets here, he expects these guys to fly out and he expects this to happen and have a big hole there. But he's not going to find any of that. See, he starts the motion, but they stun into it. So there's no place for a draw in that middle. And he has to run like a halfback to get to the corner. Then when he gets to the corner, he has to run like a fullback to get in the end zone. And he got it in. And Brian adds the extra point. And it's San Francisco 38, Dallas 21. Here is Young's touchdown again. Jones with a pop. Washington and Hennings. But Young still gets in. Haven't you been spoken for, John? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucks. <laughs> <laughs> now there is someone that is really desperate to get on television. <laughs> Brian to kick off. I want someone to fly. <laughs> I want to get on television. I'll tell you a way to do it. Holy. This is Brock Marion returning the kick. Now he's cut down at about the 27, 28 yard line by Ed McCaffrey. Dallas ball at their own 26. This game summary is brought to you by Budweiser. The 38 points allowed today are the most points allowed by Dallas this year. And 21 of them came off turnovers. 49ers lead that category. You know, and a lot of that is, is still 49er offense because... Yep. They did get those turnovers, but they've moved the ball, too. I mean, they've, they've blocked well. They've, they've ran the ball well. They've thrown it well. They've gotten open. Steve Young is playing his heart out. Yeah, you get turnovers, then you got to do something with them. And they have. And here's Aikman back to throw it to the ground. And again, for a McDonald's game break, let's go back to James Brown. Pat Pittsburgh had an opportunity to win the game today against San Diego from the three, fourth and goal. This pass batted down by Dennis Gibson, intended for Barry Foster. And San Diego holds on for the victory and is heading to the Super Bowl. Right now, let's head back to Pat. And the winner of this game, and San Francisco headed in that direction will play San Diego in the Super Bowl. 
flag on the play. Pass complete to Novacek, who gets about eight. Michael Irvin might have left too soon. Thirty-eight twenty-one. With San Francisco leading Dallas. Dick Hantack, the referee. Ball start. Offense number 88. Simulating the start of the play. Five yard penalty. Repeat the down. Second down. Simulating the start of the play means he was offside. Or he just or he just moved up or something. Sometimes here's Michael Irvin right here, and whatever, whatever he does. Yeah, he just he just left early. Yeah. That may be simulating or whatever. Second and 15. What was that Haley did? Urban. Pass complete, and that'll get a Dallas first down. Kevin Williams made the grab. Toy Cook, the cover man. Yeah, one thing, this this group here, if you're gonna if you're gonna take care of the 49ers, you have to take care of these two guys. And the center, Mark Stepnowski, and the two guards have to do a good job picking up stunts and everything. They picked up the stunt well, just played it, and they gave Troy Aikman a lane to throw that ball straight up the middle to Kevin Williams. First down, Cowboys. Uh, Aikman again back to throw not going to have finally gets it out to Michael Irvin who gets across midfield gets into 49er territory knocked out of bounds at the 40. Merton Hanks took him out of bounds. And boy did Troy Aikman hang in there. Michael Irvin was his fourth read. You're going to see him and he's going to look he's going to look three places before he finds Michael Irvin. And again this is pretty good pass protection because he's looking to the right there then he pumps and he goes back to the middle looks back off to the right looks in the middle again is down on his knee almost and throws that ball out here to Michael Irvin this is a guy who won't say no or die or stop or whatever you say when it's all over another guy back in the Dallas offensive front is Larry Allen he had been replaced by Ron Stone but he's back now here's Aikman pumping and going deep and Sanders intercepts for San Francisco. Michael Irvin takes him down at about the two-yard line. Dion's starting that dance down there, and they all get away from him and let him do a little dance. But he's been... Earlier, he started on Harper. Here's Dion right there. He's man-to-man -man on Michael Irvin. He squats a little bit. He is so fast that Irvin could get by him. He can catch up with him and pass him and get the interception. So the 49ers take over. Five minutes left in the third quarter, and San Francisco leads 38-21. Michael Irvin in a rather heated discussion. Uh, he's arguing that Deion Sanders on that interception pushed off. You see Deion pushed there with that right arm. The ball's in the air. Michael Irvin became the defender, and Sanders was the offensive guy. William Floyd lunges for about three yards and gets it out to about the seven, gets the 49ers a little room. And Darren Woodson. Yep, I think we were just yeah. talking about that. The all Madden team. I think I think we will take him. Bar none. Like he got that nickname, his his agent said when he came out of the draft, his agent said he's the best fullback in the draft, bar none. And when he walked into the camp, all the veterans were calling him bar none. And they still call him that. Or still playing old bar. And he's looked up to it. This is Ricky Waters with some room and taken down by Woodson and the 49ers. Get a first down and more on the run by Waters. A big hole. Now the 49ers have it all working today. They got their pass protection. They got their passing game going. They got their, their running game going now. Harris Barton coming there and making a great block. He picks off two. You see him come in there. He picked off two linebackers, and that really gave Ricky Waters a seal to run in that four hole. They ran that perfectly to the right spot. Water hit by Russell Maryland. You know a guy that's playing playing a good game is Harris Barton. He he kind of missed part of the season with that left torn tricep, but 
He's playing against Tony Tolbert over there, and you haven't heard Tolbert's name today. You haven't mentioned Harris till you just did. Yeah, and some of that. That's uh, a good sign. That's right. They don't want to be mentioned too much, but he's he's one of the he's one of the good players in this game that could play tackle, guard, center, any offensive line position, and play it better than most. Second of 14, Young not waiting, going for more. Dumps it out to Floyd. Floyd taken down outside the 20 by Godfrey Miles. That'll bring up a third down. Now there's a there's a real competitor, two real competitors, Michael Irvin and Emmett Smith. Over the years, just think of how many games. You know, the Cowboys in the last three years have played more games than anyone in the history of the NFL. And I think at some point it's going to start to show, and I'm not making that as an excuse, but with the preseason, the fact that they've been in the, in the Super Bowl, they've played in more games than anyone, so their bodies have really taken more of a beating than anyone else's. Young is going to take off, and he's going to get close to a first down, and he's going to get more. Steve Young still going, slides at about the 48. That's a clutch first down for San Francisco. You see stuff was flying around there. I don't know how Wallace, but Steve Wallace is that uh, shell of his helmet. Boom, came flying off about the same time that Steve Young decided to take off. There was all kinds of stuff flying around their bodies, helmets, shells. Steve Young was right in the middle of it. And Young scrambled for that first down. Let's go back and see if we can see again what happened. Well, perhaps not. Yes, we will. Watch this up there, number 74, Steve Wallace. You see, see right there. I mean, part of his head just comes right off. And I think that's the thing that made Steve Young run. He saw something fly by him. It was a shell off of Steve Wallace's helmet. A handoff is the Waters. The Waters again goes for good yardage. They're chewing up this Dallas defense now. Yeah, they got him on their heels now. They. Ricky Waters is trying to get the crowd in it now, but the thing that did it is Steve Young did it with his passing and his running. Jerry Rice did it with some of those big plays, touchdown plays and the passing, and now, now the Cowboys aren't exactly sure what to do. But here's his play again. You see Wallace's shell, part of his helmet goes off. That is what Steve Young saw. So he said, here comes a hat. I better get my hat and get out of here. Steve Young can make you miss. He just sort of leaned away from that one. Here's Waters. Waters leans down to the 40. And there's the shell. He's having a trouble keeping the top of his head on. <laughs> Steve Young wants it for a moment. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put it on. Let's see if he gets it on. So there, good. Got it backwards, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Just put it on backwards. Yeah. See, a quarterback doesn't know how to do that. Takes another guy, takes an offensive center. <laughs> that has a law degree and has passed the bar to do Plus, that. he's used to looking upside down at things. Well, it is, this is the second time it happened. This is just Charles Haley's helmet hits him, and that just knocks it off. On second down, Young again takes off, and Young is chased by Haley, and Haley makes a heck of a play. Well, Haley was looking for that one all day. He said the last time they played, that they ran that bootleg five times. But Charles Haley knew that he was going to get a heavy dose of that. In fact, after that game, Charles Haley called George Seifert the next day. And told him, he said, you used to get me in practice on that one, and you got me in the game on it. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score. San Francisco 38, Dallas 21. This Fox NFL special will continue after these messages from your local Fox station. Oh, they got the right to be proud right now, not just of the city, but of this team. 38-21. Raph Tam has replaced Derek Deese. Third and six. Young chased, throws it incomplete. Ricky Waters was the intended receiver. Did Leon Lett hit uh, Steve Young just as he threw the ball? I know Leon Lett was the guy who was chasing him. And Steve Young ended up on the ground. Charles Haley went down, and then you're going to see Leon Lett. He's number 78 in the middle. Haley starts up to the outside. He goes down. Leon Lett jumps up. 
It looks like, no, it was uh, Brock Marion yeah. that uh, hit him on a safety blitz. The Cowboys were in a nickel defense. Williams Meyer to punt it. In the direction of Kevin Williams, who makes a fair catch at the 10. So the Cowboys have 90 yards to go. If they hope to get closer, but they still have a whole quarter left. Dallas ball at their own 10. It's the 49ers 38 to 21 over the Cowboys, the defending world champion. And the crown looks shaky. That's Emmett Smith. Outside the 20, not quite enough for a first tripped up by Tim McDonald and Merton Hanks. You know, one of the, the things with the with the Cowboys, Alvin Harper's always been a, a big play guy, one for the Cowboys, but especially in games against the 49ers, and he hasn't caught a pass today. Not one. And uh, and they haven't gone to him a lot. They haven't looked to him a lot. The I think the 49ers did a smart thing. I, you know, I, I questioned that earlier, but when they put Deion Sanders on Harper, that kind of just took him right out of the game. And when they got him out of the game, then Dion can go wherever he wants. I mean, he's been on Michael Irvin. He's been intercepting passes. He's been doing all those things. Because if you look, he lined up 29 times on Harper, and they haven't thrown any to Harper. And, of course, he doesn't have any catches. 13 times have lined up on Michael Irvin. They threw to Michael Irvin five times against Deion Sanders. He has two catches. And, of course, Dion has a catch there, too. I'm with you. I thought it was a mistake to put Dion on Harper man-to-man -man in the beginning but it turned out to be very effective yeah and it's taken Harper out of the games in more way than one I mean they've they've taken where they haven't thrown to him but then they've also the Cowboys have taken him out of the game a lot Irvin is split wide to the right and Sanders comes with him Novacek is the man in motion it's Emmett Smith and Emmett has a first down still running as Emmett Smith and a flag on the play that's got to be a face mask but I mean, he could still he could still turn that power on. I mean, that, you know, he has that left hamstring that bothers him, but but he can still you know put that shoulder down, you know, and, and just quiet down and get that power going. 49ers are saying it's against Emmett. It's against Emmett Smith. They're saying holding. They're saying, I believe Emmett grabbed him the face mask and held the man off with it. Well, they used to call that a straight arm. I yeah. guess if you just push it out there, it's a straight arm. I guess if you hold on to it, it's a hold. To me, it just looked like a great run. He had the first down and more. You know, you know, you know they used to let him do that. Remember in the day, yeah. the straight arm hit, hit the other guy in the face with the helmet? Illegal use of the hands. A number 22 of the offense grasping the face mask. It was 10 yards. The result of the play leads them beyond the yard to gain. It is a first down. You see this right there. He gets the, the, the hand, the old straight arm, and he just leaves it right there. And then I guess the fact that he grabbed it and kept it going backward. I mean, he really, Eric Davis is number 25. He holds on with everything he has. Emmett Smith just takes that right hand up there and holds on to that face mask. That'll give you an idea how strong he is. And this is Emmett Smith again. And Emmett takes it outside the 35. And again, for a McDonald's game break, let's go to James Brown. Pat, you and John have talked so often about how the game is played on the field and not on paper. Well, a San Diego team many thought will be the doormats of the AFC West instead are riding high in a penthouse. And when you think about all the great Air Coriel teams and the likes of Fouts and Joyner and Jefferson, they're happy that this team is heading to the Super Bowl. Back to Pat and John. Well, you talk about doing a good job, and we don't see it that much, but... Bobby Ross and your friend Bobby Beathard, they've done a great job at San Diego. Yeah, and your owner, Alex Spanos, and that whole group, we'd like to congratulate them on getting to the Super Bowl. Michael Irvin takes the pass from Aikman in front of Eric Davis and comes close and does get another Dallas first down. Yeah, the, the thing is, the Cowboys can still move the ball, and they can move it methodically, 
They're not using all their weapons. And we talk about Alvin Harper has really been taken out of this game. And Emmett Smith, they're starting to use him a little now. And Michael Irvin being their playmaker, but not as much thrown to Daryl Johnston or Jay Novacek. Yeah, they've been very quiet. Here is Emmett Smith. And the clock is still running. Daryl Johnston in a little shoving match with Gary Plummer. This is all taking time off the clock. And when you're down by 38-21, time becomes very important. There's Ralph Tam. He's really missed the whole season, and he's just happy to get back for, yeah. this, for this game and then hope that they have another one this week. And this year. Smith checks out as they go with three wide receivers. Aikman ducks under Ricky Jackson. Gets it to his fullback, Darrell Johnson. And Darrell Johnson's knocked out of bounds at the San Francisco 40 by Gary Plummer. That was just Aikman's competition there. He knew he had a weight, and you're going to see him. He's going to be here, and he's going to come out to the right. And then when he comes out, he has Darrell Johnston. You see Johnston in front of him? Now he just waits, and he lets the defense come to him, come to him, come to him. Then he just baits them all to come there. Then when they all take the bait, he just dumps it off to Daryl Johnson. That's only the second pass that Daryl Johnson has today. First down, Dallas at the San Francisco 40. And the clock is running. And Aikman's back to throw it. Wheels it to Emmett Smith. And he looked downfield too soon. Dropped it. That at least stopped the clock. Gary Plummer who was right there had Smith made the catch. Yeah, it was funny talking to Troy Aikman last time. I mean, not funny, but he said that this game today means more to him than any of the other games. And ask him why. He said he really wasn't sure, but he thinks the, you know, the changes, the the coaching change, and then you know everyone thought they were going to be down, and then everyone getting down on him, the injuries and all this thing. He says this is the biggest one that he's played in. Second and ten. Aikman has some time. Wheels it deep and complete. Intended for Alvin Harper, and it just wasn't there. That's the first one he's really thrown in that direction. Well, he was waiting for some stuff to happen in the right in the middle that didn't happen. And again, that was his third receiver. He's been doing that a lot. The 49ers defense have done an excellent job of taking away his first and second receivers. But you see that? He was looking to the right. Then he had to come back with a pump. And then... Alvin Harper deep was the third thing that he was going to throw to. That was Dana Stubblefield that applied the pressure to Aikman a big third and ten. If Dallas has any hopes. Aikman. Erden. To the 20. Boy, he's made some big plays. And, and, you know, today, he's, he's kind of the only big play guy. And I think that that's one of the problems the Cowboys are having is, is they usually distribute the ball. They usually move it around a lot more and have more big play guys. But today, if they're going to get one, it looks like they're going to have to get it with Troy Aikman throwing it to Michael Irvin. Eric Davis made the tackle. He took one swipe at Irvin and then caught him when he came back again. Been a long day for Eric Davis, but he's won his share. That's Emmett Smith. Headed outside, and some, he just saw him pull up then. Shit. And hamstring wouldn't let him go. And it's hurting. Yep, I think he got it there. It was he he tried to he tried to save that thing and play as long as he could. And then he saw it, it was, again it was Eric Davis coming up. I think he tried to make a little move on him. You see, there's Lee Woodall there. But watch when 25 shows up. You see, in fact, he did it before that. You saw him grab yep. it before Eric Davis ever got up there. And there was Merton Hanks coming up there. And there's a flag on the play. And no question about it. Yeah, but it's before yep. Hanks gets there. Yeah. But you know, you know, the thing is, it's his left hamstring. Yeah, and he grabbed his right leg. He grabbed his right leg. Well, you know, he had hamstring problems in the right leg earlier this year. It's been a tough, long year for Emmett Smith. 
Here he is on December 19th at New Orleans. Yeah. Left hamstring. Yeah, that that's when he got. I mean, that was that was the big one. And then last week it was just re-injuring that left hamstring. Looked almost the same. And there goes Emmett. This Fox NFL special, the NFC Championship game, is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. By Hertz, for business, for pleasure. Nobody does it exactly like Hertz. And by Billy Madison, a universal release starring Adam Sandler. Starts Friday, February 10th at theaters everywhere. Back at Candlestick Park, there was a personal foul call against Dallas. There's an unnecessary roughness foul. On the offense, number 53, after the ball was out of bounds, continuing action foul. We penalized 15 yards, and the down counts as the play was over. Second down. A continuing action foul. And so the down counts. They lost Emmett Smith, and they got a penalty. That's a tough one. And I think it was uh, Mark Stein. I yeah. know the penalty was against Mark Stepnowski, but I think he was blocking against his old teammate, Ken Norton. Second and 22, Blair Thomas has replaced Emmett Smith. Aikman is down. It's Rhett Hall. And he just beat his blocker. Yeah, because no one blocked him. Red Hall is going to be right here, and you see, he just he just hits that hole, and no one blocks him. He just hits that center guard gap. See, he starts over the the center. Nate Newton goes out. Stepnoski didn't block. It was going to be a screen pass. Watch the center. Stepnoski is going to go to his left, like it's going to be a screen. See him go out. Nate Newton also went out, but you got to block the guy in front of you before you go out. Third and 29, three wide receivers for the Cowboys. Aikman back to throw it. His protection broke down. He throws Irvin. And Michael Irvin makes the catch and gets back to the original line of scrimmage or thereabouts. Eric Davis made the stop. Did Aikman you see under how, heavy pressure. Did you see how Michael Irvin did that, though? I mean, he knew that there was going to be guys in there that he was going to get hit, and he just comes under control, and he waits. There were three guys around him. If he went inside anymore, there was going to be a real collision. Yeah. Outside, there would have been a real collision, and he just stayed right there. There's, There's the pressure on Aikman. Well, it's that same thing. Larry Allen is just having trouble with that ankle, and yeah. Ricky Jackson is getting around him. And Michael Irvin has injured his wrist again. Fourth quarter of the NFC Championship game, 9:22 left. Uh, the Dallas field goal units out on the field, and Chris Bonio will try with Jay Novacek holding from yeah. 36 yards away. I think, I think the Cowboys, half their offensive team was coming back on the field, yeah. too. Now they're taking a timeout. They had their field goal team out there, yeah. and then half their offense was coming back on the field. I think they're deciding or trying to decide to go for it. They're going to go for it now. They changed their mind. And they take a valuable timeout. The NFC Championship game. San Francisco 38, Dallas 21. The Cowboys had their field goal unit out on the field. They got to have three scores. Then they called them back, called a timeout. So that means they have two left. Yeah, and being down 17, as you said, they needed two touchdowns and a field goal. I'm surprised they didn't take the field goal there. Well, they had a kick from a muddy spot. Aikman has the time and a miraculous catch made by Kevin Williams. That is one heck of a catch. Well, we know that over the year, every time we talked to Troy Aikman, he kept saying that he was getting more and more confidence in Kevin Williams. I know at first he had a tough time finding him and seeing him because he's a slot receiver, and usually your slot receiver runs inside patterns. And, that, and Merton Hanks looked like he had perfect coverage. Watch Merton Hanks on him. He is right there with him. But like she said, Kevin Williams made a great catch. That is a terrific catch. Blair Thomas is the running back. They fake to him, and Aikman throws the end zone. Mervin. Touchdown, Dallas. I'll tell you, those guys, those guys are going down like champions. I mean, if you're going to beat them, yep. you're going to have to whip them. 
I mean, Troy Aikman is doing everything that you have to do here. Barry Switzer decided not to take the field goal, go for it on fourth down. How about what Michael Irvin's doing? He's down here pushing off Eric Davis yeah. about three times, and then the pass by Troy Aikman, the touchdown. And he just dragged his foot down in time to score. He just barely got it down. They're going to try for the, not for the two, for the one. This extra point becomes very important. And Bonio hits it. And it's 38-28. And watch what he does with both feet. There's one down. And there's the drag. So both feet were inbound. 38-28. Eight and a half minutes left. Galervin, who just scored the touchdown. And look who's in on the kickoff return team for San Francisco, Deion Sanders. Ever since he's become a 49er, he's been lobbying to either get on offense or get on the kickoff return or the punt return, and he finally got on this kickoff return. Bonio's kick hangs high, and it's going to be Deion Sanders on the return. And out, out of the pack he comes and gets up to about the 34. Look at all the guys run up there and jump on him. Deion Sanders, and now there's a fight. You don't have to fight over Deion, just return the kickoff. We don't have to fight over that. But George Seifer was saying all the time he, he didn't want Deion Sanders on the return team because he didn't want him to get hurt. Right. And Deion Sanders said, well, you worry that I'm going to get hurt, but just say you put me back there and I return it all the way. He said, you look like Vince Lombardi. But they're going after Deion Sanders. Well, he didn't quite say that Vince Lombardi. He said that guy used to coach at Green Bay. Yeah, yeah. You see, it was Clayton Holmes that they were arguing about. You see that late shot right yeah. there after Deion was down. 38-28 to score. Ricky Sanders, the ball carrier. Ricky Waters, excuse me. But George Seifert finally lost that one. He, ever since Deion became a 49er he's been wanting to do that and he and George Seifert have kind of had this thing and George Seifert won the battle until just then that kickoff return he said every time that they they go to a kickoff return he goes up and asks if he <laughs> yeah. can do it and he every time always been the same no until that time second and about eight Lock running and young throws to Taylor knocked down by Larry Brown incomplete yeah, they've been working on Larry Brown all day. They've been working on him on ups. They've been working on him on outs. And he's been having problems with it. But a cornerback has to have a bad memory. And, you know, you can't worry about that last one. you got to go get the next one. That's most important. You don't remember anything. Yep, every great one that I ever knew, like Willie Brown, yeah. you know, would always, if you beat him, he'd forget it. He'd never remember that. Well, that's what you have to do. Rice comes out on Brown this time. And Young. Goes back to throw, he's chased. And Steve Young got rid of it at the last moment. Leon Lent pressured Steve Young, and the 49ers will have to punt, and we're not through yet. That's what the Cowboys needed to keep this thing a football game, is they had to, they had to score like they did, and then they had to stop this drive right here, and then by doing that, we have a game now. We had a game before this ever started. Yeah, but I mean, it could have been if the 49ers took this ball and drove it down. They, this this game that we've had for such a start could have been over, too. <laughs> yeah, could have been. Kevin Williams back deep for Klaus Wilmfire's punt. High snap, short kick. Williams says get away from it. It takes a 49er bounce, and it's still bouncing. And they down it at the 25. Dallas takes over just outside their own 25. It's 38-28 San Francisco. Overhead, the Goodyear blimp, piloted today by Captain John Creighton. And sending us those great pictures, and they have been great today, is cameraman Glenn Hampton. Where is he? Is he up in this thing here? You yeah, think? I think right so. Right in there, and he's just shooting down from there? I think. Does he have the, is the camera automatic, or does he have to no, aim? No, no, he's stuff? waving. Oh, yeah. that's where he is, but where's the camera? Oh, here's the camera, oh, the camera here. How's there. he operating? Well, he's got long arms. I think he just points it. 
Aikman back to throw. And fire. Outside and out of bounds is Kevin Williams. Tyrone Drakeford took him out of bounds. That ups it with seven minutes. We're down to this game. This game. And this last seven minutes and the clock running. I thought Kevin Williams got out of bounds, but they didn't stop it. Second and two. And Aikman's going to throw again. And fires up the middle. Kevin Williams makes the catch. Dallas first down. Well, continues to run. You know, you know that the, the playmaker, the Cowboys are going without a huddle now. You know, your playmaker is Mike Lurton, but you didn't expect the second guy to be Kevin Williams, but he's becoming that guy. And again, Aikman is under pressure, and the ball flutters to the ground, and they were lucky that that one wasn't picked off. It was, lucky Jackson. That, it was lucky that Troy Aikman isn't hurt. I mean, watch Ricky Jackson. He's number 57. He's coming... He starts on the outside, then he goes inside of Larry Allen, and he just flushes Troy Aikman as he throws that ball. Larry Allen has really been having a tough time over there with Ricky Jackson today. We talked about Ricky Jackson playing for $838,000 today, but I'll tell you, and I believe it, he says that a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl championship means more to him than that. So many great years, and Larry Allen really playing with a handicap. He couldn't even make it all the way through practice on Thursday. Aikman fires short. And a flag on the play. That's against Tim Harris. Look at Charles Haley out there yelling at Harris. Ooh, that was a big play. Yes, sir. It's Ooh. against the 49ers, against Tim Harris. Now that's a coach killer. Those are, those are the things that really get you as a coach. You have everything under control. You're getting a good pass rush. You have good coverage downfield. Personal foul. Yep, right at the end. You see, he didn't let go. Just kept going. Hit. First down. First down, Dallas. It wasn't a late hit as much as he had him, and then after he threw it, he didn't let go. Just kept pushing him out of bounds. Look at Charles Haley down there. He's laughing. Charles Haley thinks he called that one. He was out there yelling at the official and at Tim Harris. I think Haley thinks he just bought 15 yards and a first down for the Cowboys. First and 10 at the San Francisco 43. Six minutes and 20 seconds left. 38-28 San Francisco. Deion Sanders knocks it down intended for Michael Irvin. Whatever they gave Deion Sanders, he's learning it today. I mean, the things that they can do with this defense with him in there, you know, just makes them a much better defense. He plays tight coverage. He plays off. That time he was off of Michael Irvin. Yep. He just waited for him to come down and to cut. And then, you know, instead of getting the, the near hand in there to knock down the ball, he always throws the offhand, or in that case, the left hand in to knock it down. Second and 10. At the San Francisco 43, Aikman again will have to throw and does and goes deep. The pass is incomplete. Intended for Michael Irvin. And Deion Sanders is with him. And he had Deion on that one. The whole Cowboy sideline is looking for a penalty on this one. You see, he gets and his there left. Be. He gets his left hand in there. That's the way they. That's the way defensive backs feel where the guy's going. He got that left arm in there in front of him. Deion Sanders is trying to get some oxygen. He's trying to get close to that grass. There's a flag on the play on the far side of the field. I think Barry Switzer might have run into the referee. Yeah, but well, half of that sideline was out there. That's what they were the yelling fixed, about. Bumping the official on the field. The official was bumped on the, the field. Was over, 15 yards, third down. 15 yards after the play was over, it's still third down. Uh, he thought he should have had the penalty, and then he didn't get it, but he can't go on the field. He better calm down. And you certainly can't make any contact with the official. Barry is upset. Third and 25. And just over six minutes left. Aikman back to throw it. Pass is complete. 
to Alvin Harper. That's his first catch, and he gets it out of bounds, and they stop the clock. And that was on Deion Sanders, but the 49ers were, after that penalty on Barry Switzer, the 49ers were really giving him a cushion. Look how far back Deion Sanders is. He's just playing back, playing off, playing off, and then, and then Harper just cuts that thing off in front of him. You save all the moves for that. They stop the clock only until the ball is marked, and then they start it up again, and it's going. Holy moly, I've never seen a coach like that. Fourth and ten. And Aikman is swamped. Jim Harris takes Aikman down. That may be the Super Bowl play. That might be. Five minutes and 42 seconds left. 38-28, the 49ers by 10. Watch Tim Harris, he's right down here. He's coming from this side, and again, it's against Larry Allen, who's had a tough day. Starts him to the out, uh, upside, comes underneath him, and he's right in Troy Aikman's face. Okay, Larry Allen, and he's, you know, he's playing with a bad ankle and all that stuff, but that has been a big, big problem for the Dallas Cowboys today. Jerry Rice goes in motion on first and ten. They give this to Ricky Waters. And Switzer asks for a timeout. I think he needs more than a timeout. He is hot. Five minutes and 31 seconds left to play. Second and nine, San Francisco. They lead by 10. The NFC Championship game, the 49ers, 38. Dallas, 28. Five and a half minutes left to play. Tim Harris, who just sacked Troy Aikman. On fourth down. Waters and Floyd behind Steve Young. And it's Ricky Waters again. He gets nowhere. But the clock runs. There's Ricky Jackson. Yep, he, he came here and signed for a base salary, $162,000. But if they win this game, he gets a million dollars. So this game is for $838,000 for him. The winner of this game gets the trip to Miami and the Super Bowl and all that goes with it against San Diego. Dallas is out of timeouts. They were going for a three-peat. I'll tell you, they gave everything. I mean, they really did. We had confirmation that the head coach of the Cowboys, Barry Switzer, came out and bumped in to the head linesman. And that was after that deep pass to Michael Irvin where Deion Sanders had his left arm in there. And there was a whole bunch of Cowboys came off that yep. sideline trying to get a penalty. You know, thinking the penalty should have been thrown on, on Deion Sanders. The head linesman is Sid Seaman. That's who Switzer ran into. And they were all yelling about that guy Deion Sanders there who, who has really played a heck of a game today. I mean, they... They had a job for him, and, and he went out and did it. Third and long, and Young is going to throw it. Batted up into the air. Look at this. They're dumping all the buckets, Pat, so that they can't dump it on the coach. I wouldn't care. Yeah. But they, there is a guy that's done a heck of a job. Really? I mean, there's a rumor that if he doesn't win, he's going to get fired. Now, and I don't know. It may be a rumor. It may even be true. But if it's true, it's ridiculous. I mean, this guy has the best coaching record in the NFL. I mean, he's been through a lot. He's done everything. He's one of the best coaches that there is. You're not going to get any better than George Seifert. And how they could have a dumb idea that if he doesn't win this in the Super Bowl, they're going to get a new coach. Well, it's two and all. Offsides, a flag on the play. Kevin Williams signaled for a catch. Made it up to 10 or 11. Adam Walker. And it looks like Darren Woodson. 
got involved in a shoving match way back up the field. No, Kevin, Kevin Smith. Yeah, he was just chasing Adam Walker. Watch Adam Walker. He's number 27. And he's going to block, block, block right there. And then he, he said, oh, yeah, well, he started it with the right. So now they're playing downfield. Oh, oh and he gave him the uh, the old knee deal there. Yes, no wonder did. Kevin Smith is mad. Adam Walker got three he things should in be there. Mad. He got a punch, an elbow, and a knee. Kevin Smith got one. That'll be interesting to see who they called the penalty on. Adam Walker got Dallas. Oh, no. Adam Walker got three shots in there. They called against both of them. Yeah, they don't even have a signal for what Adam Walker did to Kevin Smith. Well, I but, hope not. But what they're going to do is they're going to call a penalty, one of those offsetting deals, yeah. you know, that yeah. they don't penalize anyone. Plus, I think there might have been an offside originally, way back when they snapped the ball on the punt. Antonio Goss standing over. 1995 hasn't changed anything that was happening in 1994 no. as far as officials conferences. Dick Hantak. On the play. We had number 40 of the kicking team offside line up in the neutral zone. That's Bill Bates. Pardon me. Correction. It was a receiving team. Now this is going to take too long. That's Bill Bates. After the play was over, we had a personal foul on the kicking team and a personal foul on the receiving team. <laughs> 26 white and 27 red. <laughs> We're going to replay the down. After all that. <laughs> yeah, there, there wasn't a lot of confidence in that. No. See, that's what Steve Young has there. He's he's getting on Adam Walker now. I mean, that's where they said that, that that he has really changed this year. In fact, Harris Barton was telling us that he's yelling at offense. He's yelling at defensive yeah. guys. And that time we saw him yelling at a special teams guy. Why we replay the down? I mean, Dallas has the ball at the at their own 10 yard line. Now let's see. Bates was offside. He was offsetting after the play. I don't know. I don't know. Well, they're still not. I mean, they're still having some meetings. Now they're talking to George Seifert down here, and they're still having. Maybe, maybe they'll have another uh, conference. Don't touch anybody, George. See, they got to get another official in here. You know, these these crews are kind of all-star crews. Yeah. They're the crews that have graded out the best in the year, but they haven't worked together. Well, I just kind of thought that was a mistake. You know, that you the best crew ought to work together. Like the teams do. I mean, the best yeah. team of players get to the big games and play as a team. Additionally, on the play, well, more stuff happens. Yeah. This was a. Uh, on the play, number 26 from Dallas was ejected. Ejected. And number 20 from San Francisco was ejected. But it it, it should mean number 27. Yeah, from they San don't have Francisco. a number 20. Oh. Yeah, they do. It's Derek Lavelle. Did you see that sign for ejection? No, it's kind of yeah. like the baseball umpires, you know, use for out. Kind of like he's out of there, but it can't be 20. Hey, you know, the other thing. The game now. Yeah, the other thing is the guys that are kicked out have to leave the field. They can't stay here. And so we'll do it again. Better kick. Devin Williams signal fair catch, and the ball is going to roll down at the six, at the four this time. There goes Adam Walker. Now they said number 20, but they got the right guy, number yeah. 27. And the rule, when a guy, a player is kicked out, he cannot stay here. He has to leave the field. You see Adam Walker leaving. Right. And uh, I don't know that we've seen Kevin Smith leave yet. But I saw one game where they kicked a guy out and the guy just sat there in the bench. Like I said, part of the rule is you kick them out, they got to leave the house. 
Just under five minutes left to play. And the 49ers lead by 10. Three wide receivers for the Cowboys. Darrell Johnson in the backfield by himself. Aikman out of the end zone. Throws to Kevin Williams. Williams hops out of bounds at about the 25. Yeah, this guy, Troy Aikman, has really been a champion. I mean, you, you just think of the injuries and how he's played and, and how, I mean, coming into this game, he'd been in seven playoff games. Never lost. Never lost one. When you look at guys that you enjoy and respect, uh, Troy Aikman is on the top of that list. He certainly would be. You have to admire the courage of Larry Allen today, too. He hasn't been able to walk, even. Aikman fires deep. And I incomplete. Coy Cook. That's what, over. that's what they were looking for early. Remember the same thing. It was the same two guys. It was Toy Cook and it was Eric Davis and it was Michael Irvin. They were throwing to Irvin and those guys let Michael Irvin run right by him. This time he gets behind Eric Davis again, but Toy Cook is right there to almost catch the ball. Toy Cook thought he had a shot at the interception. That makes it second down. Cowboys need 10, but they have not lot more than 10. Yards, I mean, not points. Aikman, pump fake, throws, incomplete. He was hit by Dana Stubblefield just as he let it go. That one hurt. Yeah, he's getting the heck beat out of him now. I mean, you know, this is where they really had to pressure. Here's Stubblefield coming straight up the middle. And you'll just watch him. You see, they start on a stunt. Bryant Young starts to go inside. Then Stubberfield goes outside. And Stubberfield hits Aikman right after he throws the ball. Third and ten. Largest crowd ever to see a sporting event at Candlestick Park. Shouting defense. Sixteen times he's been knocked down. That's pretty good defense. The screen pass is broken up by Tim Norton. It was Darrell Johnston with the ball. And Ken Norton is going to have a three-peat pat. He had the two Super Bowl, two Super Bowls with the Cowboys, and now it looks like he'll be there with the 49ers. So if the Cowboys don't three-peat, Ken Norton has a chance to three-peat. Fourth and ten with less than four minutes left to play. Fourth and nine make it. And Aikman back. The pass is up the middle for the first down. Kevin Williams again made the catch stopped by Merton Hanks. The Cowboys are still thinking in time in terms of two scores. But no timeouts. They have no timeouts left, so they're going to have to get a score, either touchdown or field goal, and an onside kick. Aikman throws to Irvin. What I would do in this situation, if I were the Cowboys, I'd try to get another first down or two and then kick a field goal. So I'd save some time because I can't stop the clock anymore, although they will get the two-minute warning. That would right. be one timeout. Irvin think, didn't quite, quite get the first down. Second and one, excuse me. Aikman can't get rid of it. Tim Harris again around the corner. Yeah, I think I, th I think that Larry Allen gets a point where, you know, toughness is good, but I think you have to get someone in there that has a chance. And I don't know that I don't know that he has a chance. We'll see Tim Harris here again working from this side. You see Larry Allen just can't move out there. There, I mean, he tried to cut him. That's that's kind of a last resort yeah. type of thing. Edmund passes low. And they'll face another fourth down. It was intended for Michael Irvin. Troy Wilson with the pressure on Aikman. Now you'd think if they were really watching and monitoring that, you know, having someone like Ron Stone in there at right tackle who's not as good as Larry Allen, maybe and hasn't played there as much, but is healthy, would give him a better shot than Larry Allen, I think. 
Aikman will have to put up his 50th pass of the day on this next one. Fourth and six. Timeout, San Francisco. Yeah, the, the 49ers made a, a, a late substitution, brought Charles Mann in, and I think they didn't have their defense set, or they almost had 12 guys on the field. If the 49ers win here at Candlestick Park, there's Charles Mann. The presentation of the trophy will be held on the field. It's the first time it's ever been done in a championship game. The NASDAQ stock market postgame report coming up. With J.B., Terry, Howie, and Jimmy. The George Hallis trophy presentation, which again will take place on the field. If down in that area, down by the San Francisco goalpost. Yeah, I think they got a fence around it. See, they got a fence yep. to keep some stuff back, and they're going to do it right there. And That'll be the first time it's ever been done. Right. And this is the biggest crowd, I think, in Candlestick history That's here today. That's correct. L largest crowd ever to watch a sporting event at Candlestick Park. And 247 I think the, left. And I think that this game deserved that. I mean, when you get the defending world champions coming in to play the favorite home team with the best record all year, I think the most people should come to watch that deal. And the build up is had. Flag on the play. Aikman has a long time. Yeah, everyone wants a piece of Larry Allen. And you see Charles Mann, who they just brought in the game. He wanted to line up on Larry Allen to get a hunk of that. They kept Daryl Johnston in to help that time. I mean, they had to have to do that. Either put someone in for Larry Allen. I know it's fourth down. Or help Larry Allen. They just can't leave him there against all these pass rushers. Well, let's see who the penalty is against. False start. Offense. Prior to the snap, number 73. Five-yard penalty. Repeat the down. Fourth down. Yeah, I mean, I don't mean to beat this to death, no. but it's just, I mean, it's just a tough thing, and it's not the guy. I mean, he's hes a rookie who's playing with, with an injury that he shouldn't be playing with. Charles Mann starts up, and he, you know, and then he gets him to move, and he just jiggles a little. But I thought that that was supposed to be if the defensive guy moved and made the offensive guy move, that it would be against the defensive guy this year. Brings up fourth down and 11. Dallas at their own 42. Again, here comes the pressure. But Aikman gets it to Novacek and gets the first down as Novacek fights inside the San Francisco 40. In the grasp of Merton Hanks. They just won't go down. They're going with no huddle here. Fourth down. He's going to look for one of his favorite guys. It's been Irvin today, but over the years, it's been Jay Novacek. Boom, he hits him on Merton Hanks. Incomplete. Tended for Kevin Williams. Tyrone Drakeford broke it up. Yeah, one of the, the things I think the Cowboys, if they can get in position here to kick a field goal, I think would be a good move. Kick the field goal, then the onside kick, then come back and try and get your touchdown. But that's one thing. But look at this field. I mean, I mean, they just they just stop and a big old divot comes out of the you, ground. You do well to stop. So I don't know that you want to. I mean, look at this area here. I don't know that you want to have to kick from that area. I think kicking is a good idea if you get down there. But on this field, I don't know how good an idea it is. Aikman has thrown it 51 times, now 52, as he is hit by Rhett Hall and sacked again. Fresh legs. Well, again, here's Rhett Hall right here. Everyone's worried about this outside. Red Hall just goes right inside Nate Newton. He just beat him immediately, took that inside shoulder, Nate Newton's right shoulder, beat that shoulder, and then the next thing there was Troy Aikman. Aikman back. Going deep. Incomplete. Alvin Harper, the intended receiver. And now we'll get the two-minute warning. That Deion Sanders can run faster than anyone in this league. 49ers by 10.
10 points ahead. Ron Stone has replaced Larry Allen. Forty Niners by ten. Aikman has time this time and gets it to Novacek. Novacek to the thirty. Not a first down. Not a first down. And the Forty Niners offensive unit comes on the field and everybody begins to celebrate. I tell you, that's Steve Wallace, and he, he had a, a baby boy born last night, and he has his name on there, Baron, Baron Stephen Wallace II, or Junior. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League, is intended for the private use of our audience, any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the San Francisco 49ers and the National Football League is prohibited. At the end of the game, John and I will select the Miller Lite player of the game. San Francisco. What a job they've done. You know, and it didn't start this year. I think no. it started at the championship game last year. In fact, Eddie DeBartle, the owner of the 49ers, was coming down in the elevator and in Dallas after that game and says, I want a better defense, Carmen policy. They went out and they got... And they could just run it out. Dallas has no timeouts. Yeah. Steve Young, they said he couldn't win the big one. He had all the yeah buts. He's answered them now. He's a different guy. Steve Wallace, do you see him in the huddle pointing to Steve Young? Hey, give him the credit that he's due. Today's NFC Championship game is produced by Bob Stinner and directed by Sandy Grossman. The pregame and halftime show produced by Scott Ackerson and directed by Bob Levy. The executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. I said a moment ago that John and I would pick the Miller Lite most valuable player in the game. And our selection is number eight, Steve Young. Yeah. I'll tell you, everyone feels good for that man. I mean, he's been through a lot. It's going to be San Diego like San Francisco. He's had a lot on his shoulder. You see it coming off now, can't you? The 49ers and Chargers played in the regular season at San Diego. Game we did. And San Francisco won 38-15. to 15. Overall, the series is 4-3. What courage and what an effort by this guy. The Cowboys have given us a lot of great games and have been great champions. But three in a row won't happen. Nobody's ever done it. And it won't happen now. Trey Aikman told us, he said, I hope Steve Young wins one. I just don't want it to be against us. Steve Young in the shadows of Joe Montana for so many years is finally out. And it's his day and it's his team. And he knows it. And everyone else knows it. I tell you, sometimes you just have to let go. Sometimes you, know, you hold it, and you want to be a pro. Sometimes you just have to let it go and enjoy it. Well, they got ahead by 21 points right off the bat as a result of the Dallas turnovers and again in almost every game we've ever done, John. That tells the story, turnovers. They, did. they went out and they made it happen. And again, I think it started, you know, they lost the conference championship. There's Eddie DiBardo down there hugging everyone. He's the guy that said, let's go out in this free agent. Let's go out in this cap thing. Let's go out and get some defensive players. And he did it. And look at this fired up guy. Yeah. He looks like he's ready to go in a ring or something. And again, the pro trophy presentation, the Dallas trophy is. He knocked the cameraman down. He's going to be presented on the field. When the excitement it ever does was down. Steve Young is the man. Look at him. He's jumping yeah. over fences. Watch it. He's going to go up to the stands in a minute. So the final, final score here at Candlestick is San Francisco 38, Dallas 28.
Coming up, it's the NASDAQ stock market postgame report. J.B. Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will preview the Super Bowl 29 between the San Francisco 49ers and San Diego Chargers. But first, we'll have on-field trophy presentation to the NFC champion San Francisco 49ers. That's all coming up next on the NASDAQ stock market postgame report.